Hello everybody, welcome back to another stream of Wildflowers. We are back, yes we are back. Let me just put the game up on the screen and we'll be on our freaking way. Sorry, I'm running, I'm like, I'm like running a little late today. Because sometimes uh, the, the dogs like to take their sweet time when they uh, use the restroom which is outside. And um, I have no control in what they want to enjoy on the outside world. Uh, they make their own time. They make their own rules. So sometimes I run a little late. And now here I am. Just let me hang on a sec. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. There we are. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, great. Great. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the heck is going on here. Why I'm in the middle of the, of the field here. But I'm here. I'm in the middle of the field. And we're back with some more wildflowers. And um, we are, I guess, wanting to get all cooped up. Yeah, talk to Parker about building a coop for the chickens. Not going to be too hard. What we're going to need to do is really just grind out a little bit of wood, uh, get some money, things like that. <clears throat> Which shouldn't be too, too hard, too, too difficult. Now, I'm going to need to obviously get more crops. Give me my honey. Oh. Give me my honey, please. Um, I'm going to need to get more crops in. And then I hope... I hope, I hope, that there is more uh, quests we can do as well. There we are. How's everybody doing today? Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, hey, Joe, how you doing? Uh, Razen, Razen, Razen Day? Hopefully, Razen Day 84. Hopefully, I said your name right. Razen Day. Razen Day. Uh, Antonia, how you doing, Antonia? Kemper Michelle. Soph, Irish Soph. Good to see you, Sarah. Dippin' D Game Station. Naomi. Hey, no, Naomi. How you doing, Naomi? Michelle. Q, how you doing? How are y'all doing? Uh, Sal, Sold, Soldanta, Soldada and Queens, Soldada and Queens, uh, Sold, Soldanta, so Soldat, Sold, Soldant, Dotna. I have people in, I have people I know in Alaska that, uh, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of Alaska when I think of that name. Anyways, how y'all doing? Hey, Sean, how's it going? Glory, glory stars and all that. How y'all? Hope y'all doing well. Christy, how you doing, Christy? Hope you're doing well as well. Yeah, well as well. Did I get an upgraded axe? I did get an upgraded axe. So finding, getting the wood is going to be so much easier now. Now that I can uh, just chop through really much anything. <clears throat> Sol, Sol Datna. Sol Datna? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be hard to say. <laughs> hey, Susan, how's it going? Uh, I cannot stop playing this game. Is that right? Oh, my lord. Irish Shof says, says, bought the game yesterday and have been addicted to it ever since. Played two days straight. Oh, my Lord. Very well. Very, very well. Love to hear that. Oh, I'm glad that you're enjoying this. As much as I am, I'm enjoying this as well. Oh, that's where I was raised. Oh, okay, cool. In Alaska, in Alaska. Yeah, I, the reason I say that is because um, we have, like, friends over there that are stationed in Alaska. I've heard them say a name like that before, but that that's such a, like, it's such a, I don't want to say a niche name, but, like, who else has that, like, where else in the world has a name like that, you know? <clears throat> uh, hello, Woj. I'm going to just say Woj. I think that's the easiest thing to say is Woj. That, that's the best you'll get out of me. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to get a little bit of farming on the, uh, on the, on the wood. Right now, I need to get some uh, food. If I have some food, let me see. Do I have some food? I do not have any food. I can possibly make some food. Absolutely. Hey, Fiona. How you doing, Fiona? <clears throat> hey, Timothy. How's it going, Timothy? Let's not do that. Hey, Timothy. How you doing? I am here. Love to watch you on Amazon Fire. <laughs> As I make all sorts of gaming mistakes on my PC, trying to get funds to buy this game. Oh, very well. Very well. So I'm on the Amazon Fire, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> on the Amazon fire. Look, mom, I'm on Amazon fire. Green beans, 19. Okay, we'll do that. Get a little bit of fish soup. Now, we were actually, um, sorry. We were trying to, um, we were, tr ooh, sorry. We were trying, I had the mackerel. I don't know if I want to, like, keep the mackerel to sell because it's a rare fish, but we've done this before and we didn't really get much from it. So, you know what? We'll just turn it into a stew. We are trying to find people's um, favorites, right? Uh, favorite foods, favorite drinks, whatever it might be. Hello, Grandma. How are you? How are you? If you ever want to go visit your grandfather, the cemetery is just across from the consciousness center. Oh, okay. I see okay. Sophia there a fair bit. The poor thing lost her husband not too long ago. It came on so sudden, I don't think she can make sense of it. 
I hope she'll meet someone new when she's ready. Giacomo. Right, Giacomo. Husband's from Queens. Ah, hey, he was stationed in Alaska when we met. Oh, very well. Very well. Probably hence the name now. <laughs> hence the name now. Hope you're doing well. Oh, very good. Okay, so we did make a couple of food thing items. I'm going to hold on to them right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on down to the uh, town. See if we can find um, ourselves something. I don't know. Like, talk to some people. Kind of get back into the groove of things. Hey, Thomas. Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Let me talk to you, bud. Yeah, let me talk to you. How you doing? How's it going? Well, now, your first potatoes didn't look all that bad. Oh, well, yeah, well. I think. And how did you know? I stopped by Lena's not long after you. We were admiring your work. No rot. Not too many quirky spots on the tubers. Oh, I was definitely checking them over for rot and, um, quirky spots. I always thought, like, um, <clears throat> what if, like, you know how we play these farming games, right? What if in real life you, like, I don't know. Could grow potatoes in like five days. <laughs> hey, how you doing, buddy? I forgot his name. He's the one that wants the eggs, though. Oh, we can actually buy straight from. Oh, Marty, Marty Emerson. Hey, Marty. Tells me you're also new to Fairhaven. Did the get back to the land bug bite you too? Well, not like it bit you. I mostly came to take care of my grandmother. Hazel, right? I've heard she's a real Spitfire. All right, okay, let's see. We haven't even took a, like, take a look at this. So we can actually give him a fish stew if we want to. We don't want to. But we can buy chicken feed and hay from him. We can also buy chicken, cow, and sheep. Oh my god, those are so damn adorable. And then, can we sell animals to him? This is interesting. Interesting part of the game here. Um, now, we haven't seen it ourselves when it comes to the butcher shop. But, obviously we can buy animals here. I'm assuming we can sell animals here. But can we also deliver animals to the butcher shop? Or was that just something that was being said by Kim just to say something? I wonder. Interesting. Cool. Huh? <clears throat> hey, Shorty. How you doing? Hey, Ainworth. How you doing? Hey, Adi. How you doing? Uh, Soph says, watched your day two stream today and saw that you were wondering what lecker means. I don't think you figured it out. And it's Dutch and it means delicious. Um, I think people tried to explain it to me. And then I had some comments on that video trying to explain it to me. I got a lot of different kind of variety of, of explanations of it. But yeah, I never, I never had heard of Lecker until then. Hey, Francis. I asked Amira to run some tests to see why I'm so tired all the time. But she didn't find anything. I always tell myself, just one more episode. And before I know it, it's 2 a.m. I feel you, dude. I absolutely feel you. Hey, Fraz. 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 Hey, Fraz. Portugal in the house. Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, shout out to Portugal. <clears throat> Kitty cat might be in the mackerel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. We wanted to find a gift for the for the cat. Yeah, we wanted to find a gift for the cat. Hang on. Let me go to the Kim real quick. Take a look at the butcher. Because I want to see if... Oh, hello, guy. You gotta come out before sunrise, my dude. Uh, Dawn Patrol. What? The heck is Dawn Patrol? Hello. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hey there. Thanks for stopping in. What made you decide to become a butcher? My parents own a restaurant back home, and I hung around the kitchen and learned what I could. What about you? Is that, this your first time working with food? That wait, that's it? Your parents owned a restaurant, so that just made you want to be a butcher? I mean, butcher is a little bit different than like, you know, working in a restaurant. I mean, working in a restaurant, that's business, baby. I mean, a butcher shop is too, but like, you could trans, you know, transition into something less intense. <laughs> I used to work in a kitchen too. I was a terrible waitress. I've only worked desk jobs. So I guess we can give ourselves a, a like a backstory here. We can uh, say, hey, yeah, we used to work in a kitchen too, or I was a terrible waitress or, you know, desk job. Honestly, if I were to like say, what um, Tara was, I believe I would believe she would. She was a waitress. You know, terrible is up to her, but yeah, a waitress. I used to waitress in a cafe, but uh, I spilled coffee on my patron so many times I quit before I could get fired. That's actually Rachel Green. <laughs> well, you're so cute. I bet you would have gotten away with it. I like the freedom of running my own place. Kind of miss the chaos of the kitchen, though. 
ribbing the line cooks and shouting over the banging pots. It's too quiet here sometimes. Well, if you want to just give me a call and I'll come and clang pots over your head anytime. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. Well, nice. Now we are acquaintance with Kim. Very cool. Hey, Art Vandalay, how you doing? You can sell animals at the butcher. So you can sell both at, you can sell the animals at the ranch or you can sell animals at the butcher. That's an interesting thing, right? Is that right? Because why would the game give us t two options here, right? Yeah, you can sell them here. This is interesting. Why would the game give us two options? Hmm. There must be some kind of like uh, thing behind that. Anyways. Thank you, Kim. Wait, can I actually talk to you regularly? Yes, let me just regularly talk to you. <laughs> Angus cracks me up. Like, I know I shouldn't laugh at his corny jokes. It just encourages him. But I can't help it, okay? I like a good pun. I, I like a good pun, too. I'm right there with you. Yeah, very good. Mm. Hey, Jiren. Jiren Harris. Hopefully I said your name right. Lexi. Hi, Lexi. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I figured out that the kitty loves tuna in milk. Oh, very good. Well, the milk, that one was, that one obviously was a sold. Because we saw the bottle and we're like, oh yeah, that has to be milk. Tuna makes sense, You'll find right? That this is a special place. We've all got to work together to take care of it. I agree. I agree. Now, I need to buy some, uh, whoops, I don't need a gift to you. I need to buy some seeds. Yes, I need to buy some more seeds. I would love to get these things in. Sorry. Oh, oats. We need to level her up more. That's what we need to do. We need to level... Look, at there's a, there's a bottle of the milk right there. Uh, we need to level her up more. So we need to sell more to her. So let's see what we have here. What we're going to do is we're going to sell her five actual coconuts. That just leveled her up. I guess we can get carrots, oats, and spinach now. Cool. And we will hold on to the eggs. We will sell... All of our blueberries. So all of our bananas. We might even get to a thousand uh, gold before you know it. Cauliflower seeds unlock. Hop seeds unlock. Sugarcane seeds unlock. A bottle of milk unlock. Yeast and onion. Onion. Um, and then we will sell ten green beans. Very good. And I'll hold on to everything else. Yeah. Hopefully she likes that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look into potentially, hmm, I can make these during the spring, yeah? Yeah, okay, I'm going to make some cauliflower, more cauliflower. No, I'm going to make, what am I going to make? Wait a sec. Didn't we already have carrot seeds unlocked? And then it just gave us more carrot seeds? I'm, I'm a little, a little confused there. Were these always unlocked or were they not unlocked? I thought they, these were always unlocked. Um, maybe I'm thinking of Slime Rancher. Okay, we'll buy three of those. And we'll see where we're at. Yeah, we'll see where we're at. Thank you, Lena. <clears throat> Dad jokes are the best. My computer science coding friend loves them and always has new ones. <laughs> I don't know where... People, I don't know where people get all these dead. Well, I mean, obviously, come on now, but like they're so good at like they'll. If you ask some people to like pull up a a, a dad joke, they will just be right on, just like phew, hit you with it. Like they had it already pre-planned for the day. Like they have three jokes a day. Like they are ready to give to anybody, any stranger, anybody they run across. Welcome. Doesn't it look so organized in here? Uh, Juliet just sure. ordered all of my medical supplies in exchange for extra credit at school. I explained what each item was for, and she seemed genuinely interested. Maybe she'll take over for me one day. Maybe she'll take over for me one day. Um, yeah. I, you know what? That's... I, you'd pro no, you don't like fish stew. I'm just going to say that. You probably don't like fish stew. Uh, fish stew. Hi, Bruno. Hi. I, we don't have to walk. Okay, maybe we have to walk into the lobby to talk. How you doing? Helena was such a great teacher. She really loved kids. Would have liked to have had more than just Otto, but uh, sometimes the currents don't go the way you want them to. Oh, very well. I'm assuming Bruno will like a fish stew. Also. We shall be loved the fish stew, I'm pretty sure, right? We fi we figured that out at the last episode. Yeah, I don't know if I can fashion bait out of this. Uh, yeah, but thanks anyway. All right. Well, you can politely F off too, Bruno. Very well. 
Okay, so I got the carrot from Thomas when you gifted him cornbread. Okay, that's what it was. That's how I got carrots last time. I just didn't get the seeds. Got it. <clears throat> I mean, she, they did talk about, like, grandfather's tombstone here, or, like, is buried here. We can visit our grandfather, but yet nobody has any markings on the on the grave, uh, grave or the stone he heads. Unless they're, like, marked on the other side. But, all right, very well. Question. Do you want tips on what people like, or do you rather figure it out uh, yourself? Well, I don't really, I don't really mind. I don't really mind, like, what is, like, whose favorite food. I, I, yeah, if, if there's anything that you guys know, like, I don't mind. That's not a spoiler to me, really. It's more harder to get the item than, than to, like, well harder to figure it out and get the item but you know it's already hard enough to do both so amira loves honey mint cooler mint cooler is that like a drink or is that all in one honey mint cooler is that one item oh hello almost okay let's uh let's actually go downstairs today we want to see i would like to do a speed boost so we need some black ink, either from uh, coal or the squid, and then paper. So I'm gonna hopefully, hopefully we get some coal today on our mine journeys. So tired. You do know the thing about elevators; they may be a nice pick me up, but in the end, they are just a big letdown. Especially if you're part of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> There's a dad joke for you. Bruno is kind of German, so he likes German food. Ah, okay. Very well. Beer, schnitzels, very well. Why do the flowers have exclamation marks on them? Because they're ready to harvest. Yeah, the flowers have exclamation mark because uh, you can harvest them. I don't harvest them so that the bees do their bee thing so that we can uh, uh, get our honey on. Baby, I should have planted my carrots. I'm an idiot for that. I will say that, but yeah, that's why they have exclamation marks on them. Uh, go. Hey, Fane, how you doing? Good to see you. Carrot there. I have one more open plot. Water. Oh. I got two more open plots, sorry. Okay, we'll go here. Push this through. Go. Really liking uh, wildflowers. I did say this in another stream, but um, I had one of my friends, she, uh, I was with her a couple of nights ago, and uh, she goes, we're standing, and she, 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 we're standing outside, and she goes up to her trunk, and she says, hey, I got some honey for you, and I said, what? And she's like, I got some honey for you, and I'm like, oh, okay, and then she's like, um, I'm gonna go to the mine shaft real quick. Actually, let's finish off our wood. She says, would you like some honey? I'm like, yeah, sure, I would like some honey. And she goes into her trunk and she pulls out a big jar of, like, like boxes of, of honey. Because her, her parents, they run a, um, they run a, uh, <laughs> a bee. We, we've, I've already had trouble with this in, 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 the, in, the, in another stream, but they own, like, a bee business. I, I always forget, like, the best way to, like, call it. Anyways, she gives off some honey, and she's like, what would you like? I have two flavors for you. I got blackberry honey, and I have wildflowers honey. Oh, baby, you already know that I went for the wildflowers honey. <laughs> it's some damn good honey, though. I tell you what. Damn good honey. There we go. I probably will eat that last fish stew. Yeah, I probably will. How much wood do we have? Yeah, 90. Let's go ahead and eat that last fish stew. There we go. There we go. Hey, crazy. How you doing, crazy? 1TM. Irish Show says, this game is so amazing. I only have, uh, have a Switch and a MacBook, so I can rarely ever play new games. So this one is so exciting, and the diversity in this game is so nice. Oh, very good. Very good. Love to hear that. Love to hear that you are enjoying it. And I'm glad that, you know, with Switch and MacBook, I mean, you can only have so much, um, you know, like you said, games and all that. But it's good, it's good to see that you are, you, 
are able to play it as well. I love the charming storyline. I'm going to be sad when it's over. Oh, I know, right? Um, so we have this done. All we need to do next is earn a little bit more money. And you know what? It really wouldn't be all that bad if I just did a total full send. Now that I have carrots growing, right? I could definitely think about doing a full send. Let me see here. <clears throat> Let me go talk with Alina. Oh god, here's Cameron. I have to talk to Cameron. Hey Cameron. What is what is like what's on your freaking mind nowadays? Mrs. Soft has been so supportive since I opened my chapter here. Mrs. Soft. I think she can sense the good I can do for the community. Fairhaven couldn't have a fairer first lady. I think you and Mrs. Soft are having an affair. How about that? How about that Fairhaven fairest of the fair? You a fair? Lena! This shop has been in my family for five generations. Well, maybe longer if you count my ancestor Helga Dahl's shop that stood on this spot. It burned down in the Great Fairhaven Fire of 1817. Oh no. 1817, that wow. terrible. Was Helga okay? Oh yes, she was acquitted. That's not what I... The constable thought she started it, but he had no proof, did he? All right, I'm going to send it here. You better be ready, Lena, because I'm going to drop it like it's freaking hot. Uh, let's give you five carrots for a hundo. We will give you five potatoes. We will give you five cauliflowers. And I will give you... There we go. And we will give you five green beans. That gives us enough money. Uh, so that's good. That levels you up too. And then we can go ahead and head on over to Marty. Back to the future. I would like wildflower honey, but birch syrup is amazing as well. Never had birch syrup. Never had that. <clears throat> I have a switch and a MacBook as well, but I uh, commanded it. C commandeered, commandeered my husband's PC for Dinkum. So I have Stardew on the Mac, my time at Porsche on the Switch, and getting Dinkum uh, on on the on my husband's laptop very good very good i hope you well, yeah but hope you enjoy dinkum because dinkum is really good i like dinkum say the wild farm's on a gorgeous plot of land how long has it been in the family oh we've had it for uh huh ever I'm just realizing i don't know just say Long forever story, but there was a family falling out i'm still learning a ton about this place well that farmhouse is a stunner Great bones. Thanks. I so want a Steam Deck. My uh, my brother just got his Steam Deck this uh, this week. Actually, he got his Steam Deck. He says he really enjoys it, and he's one of the pickiest people of all time. He really likes it. He really enjoys it. He is brutally honest, and he's like, there is downsides to it. Um, battery life is one of them. He says, and then he said something else. But overall. Uh, he thinks it's a it's a really good machine. It's probably one of his favorite things he's ever had. Uh, yes. Had any luck with building that coop? Once you do. Oh, I gotta talk to. Uh, sorry, I gotta talk to Parker. My bad, Marty. Gotta go talk to Parker. Parker. I bought a cheap laptop uh, to play Dinkum back in July because. Before I thought I had, uh, before that I only had a Mac or a Switch. Oh my god, I got something in my eye. Bugging me. I like Cameron Highland T, but I, I, but I'm a little suspicious of Cameron. I know, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a rat right now. <laughs> he's probably like the evil that's around here. Probably not. I want to see a full view of this purring action and petting action. Why did I not get that? Behind the brick wall. Um, yeah, let's go to Tarker, uh, Parker. I'm losing my words today. Okay, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Angus. How you doing in here as well? Let's talk to you, Parker. You want to know the truth? Yeah. When I first came here, I was more nervous about meeting Hazel than I was about meeting Lena's dad. Really? What? Yeah. I mean, Marcus was her dad, but... I could tell Hazel's opinion really mattered to Lena. We're mm. going on 10 years and two kids, so I must have said something right. Guess so. Uh, yes, my good man. I would like to build a chicken actual coop. You'll need to clear an area on your farm before I can start work. Show me. We'll be able to fix up this coop, no problem. 
But you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Okay, all right. You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. Okay, not too bad. Angus, how you doing, Angus? I know you've got a lot on your plate caring for your grandma and all, but don't forget to take some time to decompress. Damon's Bar is a great place to unwind at the end of a long day. And his whiskey's not half bad. <laughs> it, well, it's not half good either, but needs must, as my grandpa used to say. Needs must. Very well. Very well. <clears throat> PC gaming has opened me up to new worlds of games. <laughs> Hey, Mandy, how you doing? Mandy says you can't get Steam Deck in Australia. Is that right? You can't get a Steam Deck in Australia. It was very kind of you to humor my father, but don't worry. You don't have to waste your time fishing. I like fishing. It's a waste of time. Oh, well, enjoy all the uh, um, bracing smells that come with a fresh catch then. You know how weak of a mayor you are, Mr. Otto Soft? You don't even have an office. You don't even have a building. You just sit. Here, like you're gonna check somebody in into the Sheraton. You are a hotel front desk receptionist. You're not even a mayor. Get out of here. Oh God, Susan. Right? Is it, is it no? Sorry, Vanessa. <laughs> Do you ever go by Damon's Pub, Vanessa? Oh, I step in on occasion, but Otto really prefers to spend quiet evenings at home. Really? Well, what about, like, a girls' night out? Well, no one's ever invited me to one, to be honest. I guess it could be fun. I guess it could be fun. I feel like she's, like, tied up or something, or, like, she's, like, being held back or something, rather. Hey, Francis. Hey, Ellie, how you doing? Angus keeps wanting me to be his guinea pig for his more inventive pastry creations. But not all baked goods are worth the calories, to be brutally honest. You just said the guinea pig word. How dare you? That was awesome. Thank you, Francis. <clears throat> I had no idea that Australia couldn't get the um, couldn't get the uh, Steam Deck. I had no idea about that. I had no clue. Hello, Kai. You gotta come out before sunrise, my dude. Don Patrol! My man, you call me my dude again? We're gonna have problems. Hey, Nicole. Nicole says, just finished watching you play like six hours of King of Retail. It looks so much fun besides the bugs. Yeah, and there, and I will say this, Nicole. Um, it is very, it's a very fun game. Absolutely fun game. Um, there has been uh, hot fixes to it this week. So there has been some uh, updates uh, this week, which is good. Uh, but yes, um, it, it's a it's a pretty fun game. Hey Elsa, how you doing? Ellie says doing uh, good. Today's the day I get my house to myself. Oh, today is the day that you were talking about in the other stream, wasn't it? Oh my lord, because you're like, will you be streaming through Sunday? <laughs> you just gotta wait till nighttime. Then it's like, really, then you really got it all to yourself. And then it's like, uh oh. Can I do this? Am I meant for this? Can I stay at home alone at night? Can I do it? What's your opinion on the game of Ooblets? Uh, I do not know of Ooblets. I've never really played the game. I've never seen any gameplay really. I know of the game, but I've, I just, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no opinion on that. I'd rather watch uh, Baywatch than Dawn Patrol. Remember when they made the Baywatch movie with like, um, what was it, Zac Efron and like uh, Dwayne Johnson? Dude, Zac Efron looks incredibly different now. My God. Ever since he had that plastic surgery. <whistles> Crazy. It's so different. It looks so different. <clears throat> hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Let's see, can I cook anything else, rather? I don't think I have any rice. No, I don't have any rice. I don't want to buy any ingredients quite yet, just because... Ooh, can I make pasta? I can make pasta. Two pastas. Some two noodles. I could do that together. 
I think everyone looks different from plastic surgery. He said his jaw shattered when he uh, had to have surgery. Yeah, the way he said, the way he describes himself as he hurt his jaw is absolutely insane. <laughs> um, he said he was running through his house. Oh, wait, can we not get this because of our pickaxe? Dang it. Said he was running through his house and he slipped and tripped and busted his chin on a fountain. First of all, you have a big enough house to run and do full sprints in. Second of all, you have a fountain in your house. Third of all, that must have hurt. Am I ready for bed? So we have to get an upgraded pickaxe before we can get a chicken coop. Hey, Gavin, how you doing? Hey, Danny, how's it going? Just tuned in. So glad you saw my message about the Malasada. Yeah, I did see that message about Malasada. Um, <laughs> I, I had no idea I was that lucky, <laughs> I will say. Um, no idea, but that's good to know, right? There is the Malasada. There it is. Look at that. All in its glory. Still, I guess it's like a donut. Like a we 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 came to what a fried yeah okay a fried donut dusted with sugar and cinnamon. Can we that does look very tasty now, doesn't it? Hello, Grandma. It's good to go to bed early, but some of the younger folks in town do seem to like going to Damon's bar at night. Oh, he's been running it for his folks ever since they moved back home to Johannesburg. Arno and Kaya were good friends. I miss them. Oh. Okay, so we got to go see what we need exactly for our upgraded pickaxe so that we can get this stone out of the way so that we can get our chicken coop belt built. Hey, Tex, how you doing? <clears throat> Watch, they're not going to be open today. Thursday? Oh, my effing God. <laughs> All right, then we're going to go to the mine shaft today. And I think I probably will take some restorative uh, teas. And then maybe tonight I can go to the uh, forest and see if I can find myself a um, couple of moonflowers as well. So Zach have a ja glass jaw. I think he he need more calcium to improve his bone rather than protein for his muscles. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's a... <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. That's all I say. It reminds me of the uh, of the movie uh, The Mask starring Jim Carrey. There we go. Okay, let's go here. It's so hard to be quiet so I don't spoil the story for everyone. Yeah, there are people here that have not played this game or have not, you know, they're kind of uh, living vicariously through us, of course. And then me, I just never have played the game either, so... And I don't spoil myself for anything. I wish the stores were open on Thursdays. It always catches me at the worst time. It's all like even like even in Dinkum, it's like that. Like, I, I need to go to this place, and it's like, nope, they're closed today. By the way, thank you, uh, Krill, for subscribing. Played this game all the way through, but I'm starting from the beginning again because the stream is giving me cravings. There is no other game that hits the spot for me like this one. Oh, very good. And to not and to add on to, to top of, on top of that is that um, I think you did mention that uh, that um, you mentioned that uh, there's been some dialogue that you have not seen or maybe not have like realized. So you can go back and play through the game again and see some uh, dialogue that you know you might have missed the first time through as well. Boom. Buy the gold bars from the jewelry shop and you can then buy the gold tools, which are the best here. Is that right? How much are those? Are those all expensive? There we go. Bum, 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 bum. So you can skip tiers, yeah? Like you don't need to have an iron, I guess, right? This is, or sorry, we have the, uh, what is it? The copper? I think we have the copper axe, not the pickaxe, but the regular axe. Yeah, copper wood axe. Why do we still have this? Can we actually sell that then? Since we have that? They're not upgrades. They're more of individual purchases now, huh? I didn't realize that. There we go. 
And we don't, I don't, do we have the shovel? I don't think we have the shovel yet, right? No, we still don't have the shovel. F. You can totally skip tears. <laughs> The storyline is what is motivating for me to keep playing. Oh, very good. All right. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything here. I really not. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere far. Did not get any keys. Did not get a, uh, no, no, nothing for me. All right. Well, that is what it is. That's our mining day. Guess we can go about a town and see, go to the forest at night and also see. Whoa, 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 Natalia. This is where you hang out on your Thursdays is on my farm. Swinging the hammer is a great way to get out frustrations from your past. Agreed. Luckily for me, my past is littered with worthless ex-boyfriends. Wow. Uh, Natalia, I will be honest with you. I had no idea. You had many, many, many ex-boyfriends. Very well. Keep it hot, girl. Keep it hot. Do your thing. Some players say that you should skip the copper tools and go straight for the gold. Is that right? Let's see. Let's go look at how much uh, the gold bars are. Are they going to add anything else to the game or is it finished? No, they're going to be adding more content to the game. Yeah, it's, it's after release, but they said they're going to be adding more content. Hello. 90. I don't know how many ingots we need. Does anybody know how many ingots we would need for the uh, pickaxe? 90 is not too bad. Hello? Angus is flipping out because his family might not make it to the wedding. Well, 12? I invite mine. My sister and parents won't come if I don't invite my brother. And that is not happening. You know, my dad and grandma had planned to see each other for the first time in ages at my wedding. Then it didn't happen. But my dad decided to visit grandma anyway and now i'm here i get what you're trying to say but i don't want my wedding to get hijacked by my brother's drama <laughs> just this once i want something that's just for me and angus too of course i feel that i do feel that i feel that a lot interesting that hits home a little bit kind of <clears throat> very well um you need 12 ingots so you're telling me i need 12 gold ingots oh Baking something new, Angus? Oh. Yep. It's my little bro's favorite. I'm the middle child of three boys, so it was nonstop chaos growing up. <laughs> but I could always get Jamie to calm down if I gave him one of these. Oh, that must be his brother. You don't have thing. any siblings, do you? That must have been a bit lonely growing up, no? Um. As a person in real life who has never grown up as an only child, and who has had friends that are only child, I do not know how to answer this. You don't have any siblings, do you? Uh, that must have been a lonely growing up, no? Um, I mean, if you're an only child, you get everything you have ever wanted, right? If you're in a, well, relatively speaking, uh, if you are a child with a bunch of siblings, you have uh, split time or maybe take care of, I don't know. I don't know about loneliness if you're an only child. We'll just say sometimes, because I'm so... I don't know, I don't know. It was lonely sometimes, but I don't really think you need a big family. Just a close bond with the ones you love. I've been trying to convince Francis of that. He wants kids, but I think we can be each other's family. Francis and I are both the middle child of three child families. Maybe that's why we're perfect for each other. We're used to being the overlooked cheese in the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Francis is able to find a place for himself here and that everyone sees just how special he truly is. Oh, that's very good. Very good indeed. Love that. Love that indeed. Hey, Ginger Guppy. Ginger Guppy says, are you planning on trying out uh, Dreamlight Valley? Just curious. I play Dreamlight Valley on my own and I play it uh, privately. I don't play it on the channel, but no, I'm not bringing it to the channel. I have to say, I didn't expect a bouquet of thistles and wildflowers to look so charming. They look Thank wonderful. You for taking time away from your grandmother to help Violet. And us, of course. Very good. Hello, Violet. I like her a lot. I like her flower shop. It's always so colorful in here. 
I know it's not technically auto. And her little sass? Dad isn't mayor anymore, but sometimes I think I should just move my shop so it isn't right next door to town hall. Having to watch him do his self-important walk by my windows every morning is tough. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The sunflowers. Sun drops. The tulips. I want to make the sunflowers. I really do. Thank you, Violet. Husband just hot, got home. Got to go grocery shopping. Hope you all have a wonderful dream and catch you rest when it is uploaded. Have a good one. Uh, Saul and Queen. Can I say Saul and Queens? That seems a little bit easier off the tongue for me. Saul and Queens. Yes. Thank you for hanging out with us and hope you have a good rest of your day. Hey, Parker. You look like you're in a good mood, Parker. I am. You're looking at a guy who just ascended from the Iron Base Camp level to Silver Ridge level on the Mountain of Consciousness. Cameron said he'd make me a medal as soon as he could source some silver. Parker, the mine is back open. He should be able to get some soon. Parker is so like fist deep into this conscience center, man. <clears throat> Personally, as an only child, I liked it because I have my space, but I wasn't that spoiled because we didn't have much, much moolah. I see now. There we go. There we go. Grab everything. Grab everything. The oldest. I'm the oldest of six, but I don't have a relationship with my siblings. I think I would have been fine as an only child. It's always interesting, you know. Some of us grow up into uh, only child, you know, that situation. Some of us don't, you know. And there's a lot of stuff here. We haven't been here in a while. <clears throat> Hello, Lena. Have I talked to you today? I don't think so. You'll find that this is a special place. We've all got to work together to take care of it. Oh. Did Shelby just go inside of his house just now? Oh my god, Shelby. I just come over here to say hi to you at 5 p.m. I didn't see him walk away. He must have just went inside. I don't blame him. It is raining. <clears throat> Hey, Jacob, how you doing, Jacob? Oh, let's talk to the cat. We got to pet the cat. I want to be here to the uh, evening time. Aww, who's a good kitty? There we go. Hey, yo. I want this game also, but just dropped the money on Dreamlight Valley. Uh, Dreamlight last week before I saw this, so got to go. Gotta wait, so I'm enjoy watching you play for now. Very well, very well. Yeah. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are going to be interested in when uh, Dreamlight Valley becomes free to play. Um, I think some people are holding out, but also some people kind of just like jumped onto it now. Overall, though, I've seen a lot of like good things. There are some uh, like frustrating things with the game, but overall, it... People are really liking it. I'm just curious to see where they do take the game when it does become uh, full release. Or sorry, uh, yeah, when it does become full release out of early access and then become free to play. That's where I'm a little nervous about the game. All free to game, all free to play games are are uh, are a little bit uh, nerve wracking, right? Okay, those are the moonflowers we wanted for the teas. Parker is awesome, but brainwash. I feel the same way. <clears throat> I was an only child till I was 14. That was an adjustment, let me tell you. That's crazy. My mom, she was an only child, I think, until she was like 20. And then she had a brother. But they never really like hung out or do anything because they were 20 years apart. You know, and by the time the baby was 18 years old, she was like already almost 40 years old, you know. Not really much of a relationship there. Hey, Stacy. How you doing, Stacy? Hope you're doing well. Grab the honey. Oh, two beeswax. Hmm. Shelby's favorite food is the fish stew, by the way. Yeah, we gave it to him in the last episode. Should I go to bed? You should go to bed, lady. Not with your clothes on. Take your shoes off, at least. My God. 
You're gonna get mud in here. <clears throat> too many good games this month that came out. I need more. I know that I, that's the thing is like too many games came out this year in September, and then there's gonna be a couple more coming out in October. Coral Island being one of them. Saving my money for Coral Island. Exactly that. The cat has a quest for me. Excuse me. Hello. Hey, kitty. What are you doing here? Hmm. Should I let you stay with me? Yeah, absolutely. Cat is Tara's pet. We just got a pet, dude. That cat is ours now. It's not a stray, stray cat. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, happy days. When Jesus was... Was it born or washed? <laughs> oh, happy days. <clears throat> Has anyone played Hoko Life? I own Hoko Life, I believe, but I have not played Oko Life, Hoko Life. Um, o Hoko Life is another game where it's like, it's like Animal Crossing, but it's very, very, um... It's a very big grind in that game. I've been told, at least. I've been told. <clears throat> we might need to get a little bit of extra wood. I kind of want to go fishing a little bit. Oh, yeah. We got to go to Natalia and see what this whole thing... I probably won't go straight for the gold um, gold axe or anything like that. Just because it's going to cost a lot of money. Um, so, I'll probably go to the copper pickaxe instead. More money and time off work need for these games. <laughs> I agree. Have you met the new messenger? I was never one to attend religious service growing up, but I think he's a real asset to the community. Really? Do you now? Is that right? Oh yeah, this is easy. We got, we got this. There we go. Now that might be able now again we gotta get like a couple hundred dollars, but that's alright. Um as long as we can bop this um rock out of the way, we'll be good. And I wanna know what monster says no to adopting the cat. I know, right? What coward is saying, no, I do not want a kitty cat. I'm obsessed with the game at the moment, but keeping up with the characters can be a bit overwhelming and didn't even have them unlock have them all unlocked yet. I'm sure Ooh, they'll monetize it somehow. This? A recipe? Cape Malay curry. Very cool. I didn't know you could find this in rocks. Don't mind some monetization, but it de de depends on how bad it is. Yeah, uh most of the people are at, like not like it is a grind, and a lot of people are, haven't unlocked all the characters yet, so don't feel like left out on that one for sure. But uh, when they introduce the battle pass system, I think uh, that's gonna be interesting. If they, because there's, I think there's gonna be two. There's gonna be a free battle pass, and there's gonna be like a paid battle pass. It's gonna be like two separate, or how you can uh, go about the way. Now, if I pop this rock, does that mean I can get it? Possibly another recipe, potentially. Yeah. Kind of interested. I've been iffy about Hoko Life. I liked Animal Crossing, but I'm not sure about this one. Whoa! What's this? You can a recipe. A lobster roll. Oh my god, that looks amazing. I would have that right now. Right now, absolutely. Sign me up. I'm all for that. All for that. What is Cape Malay curry? I think it it sounds like a fish based curry. Do you hear the dream quality in Nadia's and uh, Natalia's voice when she talks about Cameron? Sounds like a crush. Oh, I haven't I haven't I haven't picked up on that. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I might have a pearl I can sell to Francis. Francis, buddy, I need to talk to you. 
Take it from me, you need to know your limits. I've passed out from exhaustion before. It was so embarrassing. And Dr. Syed gave me a good scolding too. Good scolding, absolutely. Um, let's see here. Sell two pearls to you. Thank you. So $80, can we make $80 for today? Maybe we can, maybe. Oh, wait, I, I don't know why I went there. Oh, Kai, I do want to see Kai. Hey, Kai, I want to see your shop here, bud. Bruno's cool. He gets my love of the ocean, but by the end of the day, his stall gets pretty ripe. No lie. <laughs> you got potion permit? That's awesome to hear. Yeah, potion permit's pretty fun, yeah? We had a lot of fun with potion permit yesterday. Pomegranate, seedling, uh, paprika, and olives. Can I sell you anything? No, not yet. You only take, like, good stuff. Cool stuff. Awesome stuff. Cameron stuff. Don't even at me stuff. Hey, Sigma. How you doing? Let's see if we can do a little bit of fishing. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of fishing. Not much money we can actually make here. I don't think we can sell stone to Lena. So might as well forge a little bit. Hmm. Ah, uh, do I have bait? I do, okay. I was a little worried that I didn't have bait. I want the lobster. Give me the lobster. I want the lobster. Chicken base? Not fish? Oh, I was thinking Cape Cod. Is it not a chicken? What's Cape then? Oh, a squid. Oh, very good. Oh, there's Bruno out fishing. Oh, I haven't seen Bruno fish yet. Hey, Bruno. Oh, he was like bringing in a fish and I just interrupted him. Damon's let me stay on his couch when I've been in my cups a bit more than I should. <laughs> his place is nice and all, but he's got chicken bones everywhere. Everywhere. No wonder Kim's butcher is always out. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, Bruno. Hmm. Masumi, hello Masumi. Masumi says, I do find it weird that in Dreamlight Valley it has a stamina meter with a real-time clock, especially since you can just go into your home to get the stamina back. That is weird, right? You can go instantly back into your home and just get stamina back, right? And um, the real-time clock was, a, was something I was not expecting when I played. Come on now. No, I don't want that one either. There we go. Just curious because my country is Malaysia, but I never heard it here of the dish. Never heard of the dish. Sorry. Um, I got another squid. That's very good for our potions. Because I am going to get the speed boost potion because we haven't done that yet. And I want to give it a try. <laughs> like button needs a little tickle. <laughs> oh, give me, give me this again. Go for this. The one thing about Dreamlight that I that I'm having a struggle with is the constant animation when like cooking things. It's just like it's like it's like. Three squids in a row. That is super lucky, I feel like. <clears throat> Definitely finding making money early in the game difficult. Cape Malay is where it's from. Cape Malay. Oh, Cape Malay. Is that a place now? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go inside. We're gonna go down to the basement real quick. So wait, we got we got the uh, we got the two new recipes. That was the Kate Malay. What was the other one? Satay? No. 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 
Fish fingers. What was the other one that we got? I thought we got another one. I thought we got two. Cape oh, lobster roll. It was a lobster roll. So hot buttered lobster in a roll. A New England, England classic. I would love to have this in my life right now. And then we have the Cape Malay. Uh, a well-spiced chicken curry served over rice can be sold to Sophia. That looks amazing as well. Yeah, that looks amazing as well. Very well. Hey, Tiger. How's it going? All right, so let's see here. Let's, we want to go. Oh, wait, I need to make paper first. Let's see if I can make some paper. We need to get paper. Paper? I think two pieces of paper, actually. Uh, I'll make five. Should have just done that a different way, but... One thing that we could also kind of bring in is a candle maker because we are starting to get beeswax and we have quite a bit of beeswax. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until we get the ranch or sorry, the chicken coop and then I'll build the candle maker probably. And then I got to go chop for some more wood. So this black ink, I probably will use all of it. So there we go. We can make the speed boost now. We'll make one speed boost. And then maybe even summon small things. Have both of them going. Can we have both go at the same time? We'll do both. Harvest, boost harvest, we don't really need right now. So that's good. I'll turn those on in the morning. Um, do I have any food on me? No, I do not. Well, I don't have any recipes on me. Okay, let's go to the bed. We'll get more wood. And then we just need a couple more monies. And then we can uh, get the chicken coop coming in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and grab a couple of woods. Ah, there we are. Now we can just chop those in one hit. That's very, very nice. Less energy spent, baby. Less energy spent. So where are we at? 94. Mm. Need to go run errands. I'll finish the stream later. Enjoy. Have a good one. Uh, have a good one, uh, Susan. Have a good one. And thanks for hanging out with us. Hugh, Hugh, happy grin. How you doing, Hugh? Hugh says, not a serious rant, just poking a certain I ideology um, in the eye. Why is there no male uh, character? I think it's just the way it's created. Um, you know, I think it's just the main character is not a male. Just is what it is. You think of like a uh, Tomb Raider. Why is Tomb Raider a female main character? I think it's just because it just is what it is, you know? I think that's just the, the, the way the developer went. Yeah. That's the story they wanted to tell. Whoa, what's this? Another recipe? Fruit salad. That seems pretty cool. Because this, this game is not a... Um, this game is not a completely open world like farm sim. Like your traditional farm sim. This is a game where... It's a, it's more on the lines of a story. It's not so much of open world. It's more of a story. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to come over here and pick these one flowers right here. Which my current quest for the coven? I have no quest for the coven. All of our, we've done all the quests for the coven right now. Neon Llamas, how you doing, Llamas? Says, I slapped the, uh, the, the like button. <laughs> One thing I love about this game is the diversity isn't just in the characters. They have, they have food from everywhere. F. I just ran out of water. Dr. Pepper, I appreciate this emoji as well. As the Mountain Dew one right there to my heart feels. Can you see it? Can you actually see it? Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? It's terrible stuff for you. Very, very bad for you, but I'd rather drink that than uh, than uh, anything. Well, anything else, but like 
rather have, if I have some sort of addiction, at least I'm not addicted to, like, alcoholism or, like, nicotine. <laughs> if it's caffeine, then, you know, it is what it is. Tomb Raider with a new male character, Lance Croft. Is that right? Tomb Raider has a new male character? Oh, my lord. But, I mean, historically, you know... Tomb Raider had always been a uh, a female male character or fe fe female male female main character. I guess that you could be like Uncharted has a female uh, main character if you wanted to go that route. If they changed that. Okay, so we just need to earn a little bit more money, and we'll be on our freaking way. Oh, a little bit of mushrooms. We might be able to get away with some mushrooms. If we talk to Shelby, we might be able to get a couple of uh, monies from him. Hey, Jessica, Jessica Padilla, how you doing? Finally caught a live stream. I love your Dinkum series, and now I'm invested in this game. Oh, very well. Good to see you, Jessica. Hey, Shireen. How you doing, Shireen? Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's a beautiful day for working metal, but then it always is. Mm -hmm. I can sell you stone. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need a lot of stone, but I could technically sell you some stone. Uh, I will not sell you. I'll probably keep on and keep on, keep on, on. Keep on, keep it on. Go back to the COVID? Why should I go back to the COVID? Are there people there that have quests for me, you think? Oh. I'll go back there tonight. Yeah, we'll go back there tonight. So you're taming the old wild fields, eh? Your grandfather used to say that land was made of gold. And if that's still true, well, a rising tide lifts all boats. You say, always say the same thing. I'm allergic to Mountain Dew, is that right? Oh, Tomb Raider is always a girl? Oh, okay. You're being sarcastic? Sometimes it's hard to pick up on the sarcasm through text, I will say, but... I see, okay. So Tomb Raider is still... All female, baby. Okay, right. <laughs> Many people complained a lot about uh, male main character only games and labeled those games with ists. Uh, that whole game gamer gate thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I mean, when it comes to any game, really, I mean, it's just telling a story. I think. My right? mom sent me a new shirt, like as an item my birthday or anything. It's not exactly my style, but it's close. I never thought I would say this, but maybe she's finally beginning to see me for who I am. Oh, that's well, that's good, Kim. That's wonderful. Hey, Aunt Captain, thank you for re up. Seven one one became a member. Aunt Captain, thank you for re upping your membership for three months. Hope you're doing well, and thank you, Ellie, for gifting one membership and bedtime picking up that membership as well. Thank you very much, Ellie. That was so, so kind of you. Thank you very much. Cheers to you. Um, hey, Millie, how you doing? Did you see the party time update for Gas Station Sim? I Was it an update or was it a DLC? But yeah, I, I did see the party time. You know the statue of the two girls in Town Square? Yeah, I was wondering about it. They're my ancestors, Molly and Peggy Dahl. They were heroes in the Revolutionary War. My family has a really? lot of history on the island. It's a blessing, but it can be a lot to live up to sometimes. They talk about the Revolutionary War here, too, as well. Okay, interesting. Interesting indeed. All right, so let's see what I can do here. I can at least give you some bananas, give you some coconuts, give you more blueberries. That will give us to a thousand. Could sell all these straight up. Might as well. We're not cooking with them anyways. I could sell you the eggs, too, but I'm going to hold on to the eggs. All right, so let's go talk to Parker now and get this thing rolling. <clears throat> so this is an East Coast town. I, I don't I don't know. I think it's a very fantasy type town still. They recognize so many different countries in this game, but they never really like give a geographic coordination where or an idea of a coordination where they uh, stand uh, in the world here. They talk about other countries, but they don't talk about where um, the island is, I think. I haven't picked up on it. 
Oh, look at this. I was hoping to give Lena some tulips for our anniversary, but Violet's all sold out. I've been oh, checking no. every day to see if she gets some in stock, but now I think Violet's avoiding me. Are you growing any flowers on your farm? I, I, I am. Yes, I planted a few I am. flowers. That's great. Lena's never really understood why I love flowers so much, but she does like tulips. I think it's because they're Dutch. Oh, is Lena Dutch? Um, no, Norwegian, but oh. that's kind of close, right? Not even remotely. <laughs> Geography was never really my strongest subject. Anyway, if you have any tulips to spare, you would really save the day. Okay, I'll let you know if I've got some. Awesome, thanks. Okay, so that's kind of cool, because, like, um, we just found out Lena is Norwegian. We didn't know Lena was Norwegian, right? I don't think she ever mentioned it. So we now know Lena is Norwegian. Hello. <laughs> hey, Avlak, how you doing? Any luck with the tulips? I do. Yes. Um, here they are. Thanks so much. I know it might seem old fashioned, but I'm a fan of the surprise romantic gesture. I'm sure she'll love them, Parker. You think so? She's a hard nut to crack sometimes, but that's part of why I love her. Hey, when tulips kiss, uh, task complete. You have been rewarded 80 gold. Cool. How you doing, Parker? I caught Finn digging through our backyard looking for worms. I thought, how entrepreneurial. <laughs> He's going to sell them to Bruno for bait. But no. He I got to put my glasses on. Vanessa's chair. I'm having a hard time reading. Hang on a sec. All right, that's a little bit better. Now I can see what, I, what I'm reading here. All right. Oh, actually, Parker, I need to talk to you. Are you is today your day off? That's Ah, damn it. Today is your day off. No chicken coop for me. Are you open on a Sunday? You're probably not even open on a Sunday, are you? Ah, I close on Saturdays and Sunday, Parker. Parker. How dare you? Oh, what are you doing out here? So, what did you do before you switched up careers? I was, um, a consultant. Did a lot of consulting. And then I got hit with that consultant burnout. You know how it goes. Once it's fall and winter, think we'll get a better idea of where it is based on weather. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's, that's a tough one. Because, like, in real life, if you said... <clears throat> If I if I described you described you a place where in the summertime it gets 110 degrees Fahrenheit 110 degrees Fahrenheit 115 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer and then in the winter it gets 20 degrees 25 degrees Fahrenheit and snows where would I be what what would I be describing? Like what where on the planet would I be describing to you? Hello. I'm I know one to mind rules. My luck is terrible. But you should keep away from the standing stones. You're not ready for that yet. Utah, half of Europe, where I live. That's a lot of different places. Rome, California, where I live. That's exactly what happens in California. That's what, what happens where I live. It gets 110 during the summertime, and then it snows during the wintertime. So that could be anywhere, right? <laughs> nowhere in the tropics. Yeah, nowhere in the tropics, at least. <laughs> the high priestess had, does have a quest for her. Let's talk to the high priestess first. As you may have sensed, your grandmother doesn't believe in keeping our identities secret. It's a noble idea, but I've concluded that it isn't practical. I want to know who this is, the High Priestess. I'm trying to listen closely to it. Ah, Initiate. I'm Tara, remember? Not here, not now. You're a fledgling witch who is yet to master her powers. For that reason, we'll refer to you by the designation that indicates your skill level. Initiates are the first rank. But I expect anyone from Hazel's bloodline will quickly progress. To begin, as all witches before you, you must master the art of potion brewing. Speak to the Acolyte Witch. She will be able to guide you in your task. Is that like Lena or something? 
Speak to the Acolyte to begin your magic lessons. The Acolyte? Oops, sorry. The Acolyte. I forgot which one's the Acolyte. Definitely not. This is the Overseer. Or the Farseer. I'm good at the prophecy and the muttering. Not so much the leading. Besides, there's all the paperwork. Coven leaders have to do paperwork? <laughs> sure. Mounds. I know which one journey man to a hawk she saw gliding majestically above her. The bird knew how to fly, but she didn't. It was a mess. That's Parker. That has to be Parker. Or Angus. Joining a new coven is thrilling. I felt that way myself when I was initiated. Vanessa? Just make sure you're not running yourself ragged. There's more to life than magic. Vanessa? I'm not the newest witch in the coven anymore. Now you have to run errands for everyone. That's Violet. That has to be Violet. Doesn't stop? Nope. It's in the fine print. Sorry. That has to be Violet. The head witch lady said I should come and talk to you about potions. Right. We'll start you off with an easy one. That way you can't accidentally magic yourself into a pile of goo. Yeah, that's Violet. Is, is that a thing that could actually happen? Theoretically, yes. Practically, I've never seen it, so relax. <laughs> anyway, if you like Elder Hazel, you'll have a natural talent for herb lore. Go home and make some Miracle Grow potions. It will make your flowers grow faster. And another crops too. Here's the recipe. There's a fair haven in Massachusetts. Miracle Grow Potion for the Acolyte Witch. Miracle Grow Potion. Get three. There's a fair haven in Massachusetts that have the islands. Is that right? Peanuts. Seven peanuts. Get our magic up. Cool. Yeah, the coven have to be... I think they have to be the people that are in the town. Yeah. Part of the town. Hey, Jules. How you doing? But I'm not sure. Just saw this game on the Apple Arcade, so get to play on my phone for now, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely could play this game on the Ar Apple Arcade. I MacBook, right? Apple Arcade MacBook. I'm not familiar with how that works even. Natalie. Oh, Natalia. Oh, was it Natalia instead of Vanessa? You think it's Natalia? That's a good that's a good shout. Oh yeah, let's go downstairs real quick. Okay, so what do we need for this potion? Easy. Eight hours. Okay, eight hours. I didn't use my, um, my, uh, oh, is it time for bed? my whatchamajigger, my, uh, speed boost or, uh, oh. gather, which I should do in the morning here now. That definitely was, that definitely was her. Absolutely. I 100% believe that. Get up, Tara! All right, let's see here. Let's go with, uh, I want to go with, yes, inventory, speed boost. There we go. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Yeah, I love it. There you go. Hit me with this too. Things I want, but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that little rhyme. Okay. Um, eight hours. Eight hours passed. We got this done, right? Okay, that's done. Push this through. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I guess... Oh, look at her go! Holy crap! That's so good. Pet the cat. Hey, Lou. Thank you for subscribing. Do, 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 do. Grab the water. Hey, Space Ace, how's it going? Uh, 
Uh, da, 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 da. She is super fast, right? The flash is flash, flash. Ah, da, 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 da. something on those lines, right? No, oh, oh yeah. Okay, we gotta like look here because like still can't still can't build the um still can't build the the coop yet. So I'm gonna go into the mine shaft. I think do a little bit of mining. That will help with our gathering. Oh, dang it. There we go. Thistle. There, That's what's going on there. Love it. Oh, look at that. There you go. Collect everything. Oh, these are one hit now, right? Because we have this upgraded... Oh, that's so good. So good. That's going to save a lot of energy. Yeah, spells are addictive. Now you'll never be without them. I think that's what scares me. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. All right. Still looking for a key, right? The one key. I decided to go towards the back and not do the uh, the front this time, but I think I'm going to still not get anything. Even though I started with the front last time and then ended towards the back. Still haven't built a shovel either. Interesting. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, the speed boost though. So, so good. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. We did it. Holy crap. Now we go to level 8. Let's go to the back again. Hey, oh. I feel like those spells uh, together. Uh, make it a less productive just because you have to almost hover in order to collect the items well um i mean maybe but you have to also think like you're also walking in the game anywhere you go so um i mean it never hurts to have both on anyways right oh my lord we're not going that way back out Back out. Let's go talk to some more people. <clears throat> I learned a helpful money tip. Buy slash make flour and buy tunas. Make fish fingers. Sell to Sophia. You spend 35 to make 100. Or if you make your own flour, you spend 20 to make 100. Okay, good shout. Fish fingers, yeah? Fish fingers. Oh, well, let's go this way. Yeah, I know. Super fast. Love it. There you go. See, I guess you can just run right over the items. Whoop. Come back this way. Up here we go. Grab the witch weed. Don't run into the bench like I did. No blueberries up there. Anything down here? Yes. Hey, Bruno. What are you doing? My Helena passed a few years before Sophia lost Giacomo. Oh. I try to give her the best of my catch to cook up in a diner. She's always blasting that music, but I don't mind. If it helps her to dance away her sorrows, I say all the better. Well, she does dance in the diner, and she does have a good thing. She's got a good thing going for her. I'm in fall, and I have, like, a stack of ten at all times. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you, Space Ace. I appreciate that. 
Glad you enjoy. Fish fingers are really good to make a lot of money with. I did that, but now I never struggle with energy or more. Makes it easy, uh, but a tiny bit more boring as well. Okay. You should check out Sophia's diner. Oh, is it good? Yeah, her chow is solid. Damon! She'll serve you breakfast anytime, even if you don't get up until noon. Damon, we've had lunch in the diner together with her. Get out of here, Damon. Amira. I feel terrible. I didn't want to turn down Kim's gift of fresh caught lobster. I get the feeling they think I was upset, but I wasn't. In fact, I wouldn't mind getting a shellfish free dinner with them sometime or with you. Come oh, think of it. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, I've. She said, wait, wait, how in the world did we just react to that? Did we just. <laughs> How did we react to that just then? That was strange. Angus is always trying to warn me away from going fishing in that lake in the woods. But I like the woods. They're peaceful. Plus, sometimes I run into a mirror. Wow. That sounded way less stalkerish in my head. Let's see. If we can get, like, coffee... And I know Francis is a coffee person. I I, I believe that. I 100% believe that. Mr. F uh, Parker, you need to be in your freaking job right now. Do you ever miss home, Parker? Well, Fairhaven is home now. But I miss my brother. He thought I was crazy to follow Lena out here. But he came to visit after the twins were born. And you know what? This town might be a bit sleepy, but he gets it now. Our dad worked his whole life. But in the city, he could only afford our little apartment. But here, my kids can see the stars at night. Oh, all right. I mean, I can see the stars at night where I live, but, you know, whatever. I guess if that what turns your pie, then that's what turns your pie. Very much so. Your choice, not my choice. <clears throat> the developers added an option to limit the amount of fish fingers you can make. Embargo fish fingers. <laughs> I wonder why they added... That because I rarely made me fish fingers when I played. Ah, so now it's starting to come together. Like, why would they do such thing? And then you're like, ah, now people talk about it. And it is what it is. Yes. What you doing, Angus? Thinking up a new viral baked good. Something that people would be willing to queue for hours to get so they could post it on the social medias. <laughs> you know, like those croissants that have donut filling. Oh, what about like a half bagel, half cupcake? A bup cake. What the heck? Mm, no, that won't work. Yeah, no, the, um, when Tara froze up there, I thought it was like she was saying, was she saying ew to the seafood or was she saying ew to the fact that she, we should get dinner sometime? Because that was all very close and I got to, why does everybody have green eyes here? Um, uh, hey, how you doing, Miss Bubbles? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it was just kind of a weird thing. Flustered at being hit on. Is that what she was? She was flustered about being hit on? Tara. Come on. I've, in my real life, throughout my years, and throughout my years of um, where I used to work at for half a decade, I have been hit on personally by everybody and everyone at some point or another. Uh, males, females, guys, it's so, <laughs> it, it is, it is, it is, it is, it's, come on, it's a compliment, no? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, baby. Parker loves coffee. I knew it. Tiger says, going to take my grandson outside for a few. I'll be back. I'm leaving the stream on. All right. Sounds good, Tiger. <clears throat> Bum, 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 bum. I gotta, I gotta buy him a cup of coffee, right? Absolutely, I gotta buy him a cup of coffee. Today's Sunday, going into Monday. Guess what that means? We finally get the chicken Is coop. It time for bed? Yes, it's time for bed. Yeah, seafood is yum. 
That was 100% social anxiety and not being used to compliments. It does, it does kind of weird, huh? Like, you, you get a compliment and you're like, I don't know what, what to say or do. <laughs> How's my day going? My day is going great! Absolutely. The fact that I can sit here and enjoy company with these fine folks and play some, uh, play some wildflowers is always good. So it's going great, actually. Thank you for asking. Got these carrots. Maybe she's not used to being hit on. I just thought it was weird that she made like a little bit of like a mouthgasm kind of noise. I don't know. It's like she was like, Ugh, I'm not I'm not worthy of a date. Yes, you are. Anybody is worthy of a date. Don't ever sell yourself short, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever sell yourself short. We got to talk to Parker. Angus. <sighs> What's wrong, Angus? My older brother just sent an announcement. He and his wife are expecting again in the fall. Congrats. Isn't that great news, Uncle Angus? No. That kid better keep baking till after our wedding. <sighs> Knowing my luck, he'll be born the day before, and none of my family will come. How's the performance on the PC? Oh, it's good. It's good. This game runs very, very smooth. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Amira just hits hits you from left side with the flattery, and Tara is recently single. She oh yeah, that's right. She was engaged. Huh? We we made her engaged. She was engaged to Matt, I believe. Yes, Matt. Matt. In this crazy world, now compliments are taken as insults, I'm sad to say. Well, no, not, not necessarily. I would I would argue against that. I would say compliments are compliments. However, compliments can also be like anybody can make an excuse and say that wasn't a compliment. That, that was a compliment, right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, sexual harassment is not a compliment. So there's a fine line between the two, right? <laughs> you, you just... You gotta meet the fine line. I hope our little group meeting at Town Hall the other day didn't scare you, Terra. Little group meeting? Fairhaven is a lovely town, but we can't be too complacent. That's all. Too complacent. Again, you're like working at a Sheraton, man. You're you're you don't even have an office. All right, Parker, time for you. Oh, cutscene. Hi, Terra. How are things on the farm? I'm really glad an old friend of Lena's moved back to town. Lena's lived here her whole life, but she doesn't really have that many close friendships. Hmm. Lena doesn't have really that many close friendships. Yeah, what about Sophia? She's hard to get to know. I'm so grateful. No, no, what about Sophia? What about Sophia? Oh, yeah, they're friendly enough. Even if the music coming from the diner drives Lena crazy sometimes. I, I just meant it would be nice for Lena to have a friend who really understands her. I'm we can be that I'm friend. Just glad you're here is all. I yes. Hope you and Lena get to spend more time together. Absolutely. We will. We will, Parker. Now I need you to build me a chicken coop. Uh, chicken coop. There we go. Uh, looks like you have already cleared some space. I, I, I'm ready for this. Sign me up. Let's go. Okay. I'll get started fixing up that old coop right away. Should Thank you. Take a day or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Parker is building your coop. It should be ready in a few days. No, 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 no. This needs to be next day level stuff. This needs to be Amazon Prime same day delivery. Okay. I don't get around with just, you know, we'll be here in a few days. Has Lena invited you to join her book club yet? She is not. A couple of nights a week, but it's ladies only. Oh, a ladies only book night club. All right. That's kind of cool. Look at we go. We're so fast. I love this. So, so fast. Now, wait a sec. We need to go to the Coven tonight and deliver those potions. Yeah. Yeah. Nine from my plays. Oh, nine from my. Oh, none from my plays. Yeah, none from my plays. No crashes. Haven't had any crashes in this game. Um, and I think they did a, a decent job in this game. Considering this game has been out for a year already, right? Has it been out for a year? Can anybody uh, confirm that? I mean, it has been recently 
I mean, you know, come out on Switch and, and Steam, but it's been out for about a year on the Apple Arcade. Some folks in town are afraid of the woods. I try to ease their minds about it, but it's no use. Hard to reason with irrational fear. Hey, Lady Kryptonite. I met my husband in the game. Oh, very well. Very, very well. Oh, my lord. Um, I'll sell, like, maybe half of these. What game was it? What game did you meet your husband? I'm actually curious now. I'll sell ten of these. There we go. Thank you, Shelby. <clears throat> Nothing else I can grab here. Nope. I guess we can uh, spend our little energy on going back to the mine shaft too, and then maybe coming all the way back here to check the coven and tell them about the potions we we uh, we made. Nice shoes is a compliment. You're prettier when you smile, isn't? <laughs> that's such a that's such a terrible thing to say. You're prettier when you smile. Oh my god, that's terrible, dude. That's absolutely terrible. I gave someone a compliment today. I pointed at her and said, "Your hair looks fantastic." Oh my goodness. If we can just, like, give one compliment a day to somebody, whether it be a friend, family member, or stranger, uh, one by one, all of us, we can make this world a better place. No? <laughs> world of Warships. You met a... Wow, really? That's interesting. World of Warships. Is it kind of like World of Tanks, but with boats? Is that how that goes? <laughs> Can you tell Wendy to wake up? She's asleep on the couch. I don't want to yell. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so Wildflowers was released on Apple Arcade in February 2022. So, seven months. Okay, seven months it's been out. Not a year. Seven months. Come on now. Come on, girl. Hey, Hannah. How you doing, Hannah? Hannah says, I'm really glad I got this game, but I was not prepared for the roller coaster it is. Oh, no, dude. Oh, man. That gets me a little excited, though. Hey, this looks like a key to the next level. Oh, baby. There we go. Next key. What the heck is that? I that has to be iron, right? Whoa! Amethyst? Nice. Your forehead is looking fantastic today. Well, I pre oh cool, sick. Well, I appreciate that. I couldn't So that's good. Uh we got coal, so we don't need to get squid all the time now. That's good. I had someone tell me, you look better without your glasses. My reply was you look better when I don't wear them too. <laughs> Look at the head scratches. What would you say you are enjoying more here? Story or gameplay? That's a tough one. I got... Did I get cat fur from that? That's a tough one. I really like the gameplay. It's The, the gameplay in this is super simplistic. Super simple. Um, which I like. Um, the UI is super clean as well. Very, very clean. And... Um, easy uh, very accessible the game is very accessible because i can play this game keyboard and mouse on computer with one hand uh, i don't need to have two hands i can just point and click where i need to go and i can use this chop down trees access my inventory do whatever i need to do with one hand um, which is super helpful for people uh, like i said for accessibility wise so gameplay uh, there's a lot of good things from it um story i'm just involved in the story i'm really really you know head deep into the story here and, I, and i'm itching to see more all the time so yeah you know <laughs> gameplay and story I, I it's hard to pick which one i like more but
There we go. Let's go and see what we can cook, potentially. Hey, Jessamica, how you doing? Good to see you. Been a, been a while. Happy to catch a stream. Hope all is good. Yeah, it's been a while, but it's good to see you, Jessamica. Yes, restorative teas. I need multiple of the teas. Give me five. No, give me three. Give me three. Give me three, and um, I'm going to go to the forest now and see the coven. Yeah, and no carry weight. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good shout, too. No carry weight. So you can hoard as much as you want. Hey, yo. Rock your glasses. We blind people need to see. That's right, baby. We have some viewers. Some, uh, some of our viewers here, uh, they have... Uh, accessibility troubles in some games uh, because games don't offer a vast amount of accessibility and um, this game just does a really good job and it, and it includes more people to play along holy crap just come up on a broom we got it we got it for you I want to talk to him though don't go near the standing stones our coven has kind of a bad history with you know she also has a purple uh flower on her forehead too so that's that's violet violet you're trying to violet violet lots of witches keep a couple of cauldrons so they can have a few potions brewing got you lots of witches keep wait 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 wait. i got you i got you on these potions are we ready to go oh wait i need to give it to the high priests maybe Oh, no, I didn't complete it all. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I only made one potion. I didn't make two I don't, or three, I don't think. My bad. Whoops. Whoopsie, whoops. Hey, Kiri. Kiri? That's Kiri, is that how you say it? Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. Hey, Glitter Glam. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'll tell you a game that is stressful. Food Truck Simulator. Pizza Making. Oh, pizza making in that game? Is that, is that, is that stressful? I didn't get to the pizza making part on that. I will tell you. Um, let's go downstairs, please. Yes, collect. Yep, that's my fault. My bad. My bad, y'all. Now I need one more. One more to get done. Oh, am I ready for there's also, in this game, there's no, uh, there's no, like, I hate to say there's no sense of time. But it, there's, it's not like a traditional, this is spring day two. This is spring day 25. This is spring, technically, that we're in, but there's not a day. They don't keep track of days because when you progress the story, then that's when you progress the seasons. So it's definitely a uh, story-driven game, I think, for the most part. And then on the side, we have like these farming aspects and RPG things. Yeah, the art for the food is pretty good, too. Are those who have the game enjoying it? From what I've heard and from what the people have told me in the Discord and from what people have told me in the streams and, and all the above and this and that, yeah, people seem to really be enjoying it. Okay, now we have our third one, right? There's our third one. Okay, now we can go to the coven tonight. Uh, I will probably... Is our coop done? Our coop is not done. Okay, I'm going to go to the... Um to the mine shaft again with my T's this time. Kind words do not strain the tongue. I totally agree with you. Uh, using some smiles and kind words can make things better all around our lives. You know what? And the thing is, is like, I think we don't, we, <laughs> I think there's like this stigma where like, being kind or being nice is this cheesy thing or this or this weird thing that we 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 put around as a society. I don't know. Like if someone's being super nice to you, people become very uh suspicious, right? Right? I think we've been like accustomed to that now. 
Like, yes, there is people, but there is always bad apples on trees, no matter what you do in life, or no matter what the situation. There will always be bad apples in trees, but there's more or less always good apples on the tree. There's always more good apples than there are bad apples, right? Have a good one, Miss Bubbles. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good rest of your evening. Spring can last a year if you want it. I know, right? That's basically where it stands. <laughs> I like the farming uh, sims, but I don't like the most that don't have a story. So it really does. It, it never really ends. And I could... uh, Stardew Valley, I feel like, has done a very good job recently with that. Now, there was Stardew Valley, you know, released, but after Stardew Valley was released, they came out with a massive update with an additional island and all that, and they continued the story, added new NPCs and things like that. Um, there is a story there, but then there's also the uh, never-ending uh, story, story as well. I think in Stardew Valley, you kind of create your own story, so to speak. In this game, it's more of a kind of like... You're on a linear path here. And you discover the story, learn the story, and that's the story. What is this? Hmm, it's locked tight. How in the world do you open this? Anybody care to care to chime in there? Hey! You said you're going to the mines with your tease. What are you going to tease there? <laughs> Thank you, Timothy. I appreciate that. Thank you for the, uh, I don't even know what to say. That a dad joke, a pun joke, not even a pun joke, right? It's like a dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. That was very kind of you. I got into this game because of can. Oh, very well, Ellie. I will admit I'm addicted to Stardew. You will find keys to the chest in the mine. Okay, very good. Thank you for that. I like that wildflower story driven, but there are still things to do as opposed to a visual novel, which is just reading. There you go. Yeah, because I mean, there are like some story driven games out there, obviously. And the story driven games, um, you know, they're fun. But usually story driven games, um, you only play through one, one time, right? key to the next level you only play through one time and when you play through one time you you probably put it down and maybe come back to it a year or two again maybe possibly <clears throat> whoops i did not mean to do that hey you how you doing Wow, this one looks pretty cool. Oh, I like I I love going for these. We found an amethyst in them, so might as well keep popping them. And the coal, the coal is pretty important too. The time with this game is like when we are all where we were all on uh, lockdown. Time lost meeting. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? And we've ran out of our tea, so we can no longer tease the mine. <laughs> uh, good stuff. How did you get the upgraded pickaxe? Uh, Natalia. Yeah, Natalia. Um, it was some wood, 250 gold, and copper. Oh. Probably buy some more crops, too. How many do we have? How many spots open? One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six open slots for uh, crops. I mean, we could actually build more of these pots if we wanted to. More boxes, but it is what it is. Hey! 
I wish I had more money in my bank account so I could buy more of the games you show. Crying face. <laughs> oh, dang it, Lexi. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I'm... <laughs> And, you know, I, I, I honestly believe that it's just the time in the year right now. I, I, like, all these games coming out, it's just, they're all coming out at the same time, you know? They are. I wish we weren't so overloaded on, uh, we haven't been out here in a while, have we? Um, I wish we weren't just so overloaded with games on quarter three and quarter fours. Because quarter three and quarter fours are usually the time when all these big games come out and other games come out. And then, like, usually quarter one and quarter two, it's super slow. I wish it would just be more balanced throughout the year. You know? Oh, that's good to find right there. There we go. There we go. Let's go to the Coven now. You can't find copper? Uh, you'll be... It depends on what level of the mine you're in. Just go to the mine... And uh, you'll be able to find copper eventually the more you progress through the levels. You got to make sure you're progressing through the levels too. Sugar is on the oven. Very first, uh, very, fir very, very first recipe. So sugar on the oven. Why did your super chat no go not go off? It did go off. Yeah. It did go off. Did you not see it? <laughs> did you want to? Do you want to run it back? <laughs> you said you're going to the mines with your tease. What are you going to tease there? There you go, Timothy. <laughs> I had a I had a reaction to it and everything. It was fantastic. Hey, Sarah. How you doing, Sarah? Good to see you. There we go. We can finally deliver this. Oh, great. <laughs> Let me have a whiff. Uh, yes. They all smell just right. Here, you keep them. They're super useful for someone running a farm. Brew more anytime you have the ingredients handy. Now go ahead. Let the High Priestess know you've finished your potion training. So tell the High Priestess you learned the basics of potion making. We'll see about that. All right. High Priestess. All right, I'm going to listen closely to this and see if I can kind of figure this one out. Well done, Initiate. You have mastered the art of herbology very quickly. The Acolyte tells me she couldn't have done better herself. To recognize your skills and achievement, you may cast away your Initiate designation. Yay! I really prefer to be called by my... You will be known as Novice from this point on. Right. I see. Right! Rest now and find ways to use your new craft. There'll be more work to do before long. I still can't, I can't put my thumb on it. I really can't. You've been rewarded with something's brewing. You've been rewarded with revi revitalizing potion recipe. Huh. What's the next thing? Ah, novice. It will soon be time for the turning of the seasons. Okay. Great. I love summer. Picnics, lemonade, going to the beach. Oh. But first, we must gather the ingredients for our ritual. I'm sorry, but doesn't the change from spring to summer just happen? <laughs> you have much to learn. You'll find this island to be different in ways big and small. Gather the items and brew this potion. Then we can begin. Oh, okay. So the spirit flame. Brew a spirit flame potion for the summer ritual. So that will take us to summer, yeah? So revitalizing potion and spirit uh, flame. Interesting. Cool. My husband and I have started playing this game too. And so excited to see where the storyline goes. Awesome. That's so good. I'm in level three in the mine so far. How many more levels till I, uh, till I get copper, you think? Maybe four or five. Four or five level. If I were to guess, maybe five. Level five. Not too far. Hell, maybe even four. Like I said, maybe four or five. So you're just right there. I didn't get to buy any seeds though today. However, what am I going to need to make this uh, happen? Essence of copper, powdered calcium. Interesting. Miracle Grow, we already know. 
Uh, revitalizing potion. Need a lift? This potion replenishes some of your energy. Oh. Seaweed and mandrake. I guess we can craft that. We'll get that brewing. Essence of copper. I don't know how you get essence of Should copper. I go to bed? A place to lay. We got the we got the chicken coop in. The chicken coop's in. It's in. It's absolutely in. Honeybee. What the I'm heck? To stay in bed today. Oh no. I just don't have much energy. Oh no. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, come in, Amira. What perfect timing. Sorry to come by so early. I uh, heard you were feeling poorly, Hazel. How could you have heard that? Well, I try to make a house call at least once a month. I'm sorry I haven't been by more recently. Here's some medicine for Hazel. Thanks. It will make her more comfortable. There's not much more we can do, I'm afraid. What? You're just... giving up? <sighs> That's not fair. I've tried referring her to the best specialists and research trials, but she refused them all. Anyway, I need to get back to the clinic. Hazel, get some rest. I will. Don't worry. Tara's taking good care of me. Oh my god. Oh, don't be mad at Amira, honeybee. She's right. I decided to enjoy the time I had left, <laughs> rather than be strapped to a bed with tubes coming out of me. I'm grateful that I've had the strength to teach you what I can. I am not afraid of what comes next. Holy crap, that was deep as hell. Um, <clears throat> yeah, wow. Interesting. Um, Grandma? Don't let that mayor ever give you trouble, honeybee. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's worried he might lose the next election. And then he'll have to move out of the mayor's mansion, and his fancy wife might hop the next ferry back to Milkwater. Yeah, she's a grave digger. She's or gold digger. Smarter of the pair. She's a bit of a hard nut to crack, though. Maybe you'll have better luck. She's not a grave digger. She's a gold digger. My bad. Um, wow, this okay. So this this def definitely has taken a turning point, right? Absolutely. The chicken coop is is here. Is here. We finally have the chicken coop. We gotta go buy a chicken. So let's go buy a chicken. My lord. That's crazy. Oh, this is not where I buy a chicken. <laughs> no no you better not be closed what's today wednesday no you're open it it's 9 a.m all right i'm just a little early here all right i'm a little early good marty i'm buying the chicken from you today because that's what i need to do i'm gonna go to the beach then real quick see if there's anything down here there is nothing down here I mean, who knows? I mean, the church is across from the from the church, or the graveyard is across from the church. She might be a grave digger for all we know, too. <laughs> Vanessa the grave digger. Hello, Marty. Give me this. Give me this actual chicken. Give me, give me. My God, look at it. Give me that. Just like you asked for a single chick. <laughs> it's not funny. I shouldn't say that, should I? That's offensive. Uh, here is one young chicken. I think it's fine in this context. <laughs> now, what would you like to call her? Oh. I'm not calling her Marty. Tendy? Layla? Something else? Polly? Dinner? Lefty? Along Came Polly? Starring Jennifer Aniston? Beatrix? Henarita? Foul play? Whoa. Gus? <laughs> Pita? Beekman? Nuggets? Chicken Little? Waddles? Plucker? Little Tara? Meg? No, Meg. I've watched too much Family Guy. Peepers? Sweet Pea? Poncho? I like Poncho. Egbert? Cluckadoo? 
I gotta find it, dude. Little Tara, Henrita, Pep Peeper, Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea and Chicken Little is not bad, I will say. I do like Poncho, though. Pancho? What? Suitable for any lady. I also brought you some feed. Free of charge. You fixed up my ranch after all. This is the least I could do. That's very kind of you. Uh, remember, you have to feed your animals every day. They're just like us, turns out. If you take good care of this chick, she'll eventually turn into a laying hen. Omelets for breakfast every day. That'd be oh, sick, and, dude. Uh, once you've gotten a handle on chickens, I can sell you cows, too. But for that, you better get Parker to build you a barn. Here's a blueprint. Stop by my ranch if you want to buy animals or some feed for them. Well, there we go. Task completed. You have been rewarded with chicken feed, a butter churn. Oh, nice. So, I did not like the way she pronounced Pancho. She said Pancho. <laughs> Pancho. Nobody over here in California says Pancho. Butter churn can now be constructed in your stool, sh uh, not your stool shed, your tool shed, excuse me. Oh, chicken, how you doing? So, Pancho, let me give you some chicken feed, Pancho. Oh, it makes noises too. Pet the Pancho. <laughs> we pet the Pancho. Okay, very good. Good job. So wait, how do we build the, the butter tree? Oh, is that in our in our work shed, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, the butter churn. So the butter churn, a device that makes butter from milk or milk alternatives. Okay, so we don't even have milk coming in. I do want to get the candle maker in, so I need some wood. Let's make some wood and get 200 gold, and I will get the candle maker in. Feel like once we get the candle maker in. We can start making some real money from the uh, beeswax. It is something that you can't actually name the chickens yourself in this. You have to go through the, um, the, uh, like the recommendation names. Henrita was pretty good too, huh? Especially when it grows up. <laughs> My first chicken was called Dinner. <laughs> No shame. I'm thinking of Poncho. I am thinking of Poncho. Is that not? Is what the heck is a Pancho? Is Pancho is? Hang on, a second. I gotta look this up. Pancho is that not? What's a Pancho? Pancho is just a name. Poncho is some. That's not. Poncho is with an O. Oh my God. Good Lord. Are you kidding me? You actually kidding me? So Pancho Pancho, no disrespect to anybody named Pancho, but they might as well just named you Pancho. It is what it is. Hey, Lalu. We just hatched 10 new chicks. Oh, I did. I admit I did. Sorry, we would be able to get them sick since the whole house has COVID. I named my first chick Lefty. Oh, Lefty. What about Righty? Because oh, she's not a Righty. There you go. Romantic things to do for <laughs> Lena. Oh, I hope I find a thoughtful partner like that someday. Want some flowers, Natalia? I, I might have extra. Oh, you're sweet. But uh, flowers make me sneeze. Every time I try to offer something to someone, they don't like it. Hey. I heard Hazel's not feeling well. Oh, no. Tell her Francis and I are thinking of her, won't you? I will. Thanks, Angus. Now the word is going to be spread about what's going on here. Oh, no. Pancho. That's a hell of a name. Pancho. I, will, I won't be past that one. I tell you what. Not getting past that one. Hello, Kim. I don't know what to think about Cameron. There's something about his talk about malcontents that sets me on edge. Angus really seems to like going to the consciousness center, though. He's always inviting me to come. <laughs> I named her dinner so I didn't get full attached. Full hearts. Off to off to Kim you go. Oh, my Lord. I mean, fair, fair play. Fair play. Fair enough. 
There we go. Hey, Cameron. Let's see what you have to say about your nonsense. Natalia told me you repaired the mine. I did. How wonderful. It is. Hopefully soon we can make some new medals for our ceremonies. We won't. She's about to level up to silver. She's not. Everything. I just. No. Spite him. Oh, Parker said that you were the one who grew such gorgeous tulips. They look so good. I was sure he'd gotten them from Violet. Okay. Can I? I need some money here. Sorry. I don't want to gift. I need some money. So let's go ahead and sell some things here. Um, I will sell you uh, bananas. Uh, I will probably sell you some eggs here. I have a ton of carrots. Do that too. We need to get more um, seeds rolling in too as well. So there's butter. Um, uh, wheat seeds wouldn't be bad. How long do the wheat seeds? Eight days? Six days? Five days? We need six. We'll do six cauliflowers please. I could buy a bottle of milk, but that would just be wasteful, I feel like. Um, I'm not going to buy any other ingredients for right now. Really just worrying about profits at this moment. There we go. Worry, not sorry. I've been lurking for a long time. We're not saying hi either. <laughs> hey, Laulu. Pancho was pronounced with a ah, like Pancho Villa. Pancho Villa? What the heck is Pancho Villa? I feel like oh, maybe I should talk to Bruno. I'll talk to Francis. Hey, Francis. Hey, Tara. You know, when my abuela took ill, we sat around her bed and oh, just me. told her stories about her life, sang her favorite songs. It was a sad time. But I treasure those memories. That just gave me the chills. Absolutely gave me the chills. I relate to that 100%. Not with, with grandmother, but more or less with grandfather last year. Wow. Uh, that was very powerful there, uh, Francis. Thank you for sharing that with me. Can I buy you a cup of coffee? I'll be right back. I have to do it. Sophia. Sophia, give me a give me a nice cup of Joe, please. I gotta buy it from my man, Francis. I heard Hazel's been feeling worse. Are you doing okay? I I think so. It's hard, honestly. Because I'm the only one who lives with her. Like, what if she falls? Wow, that just popped out of me. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was afraid of that. <sighs> Giacomo used to say I had that effect on people. They tell me all their worries. Well, I don't mind. Very much so. Hey, Damon. Now that you told me about this awesome diner last time we spoke, I'm here. <laughs> Did you know that the original meaning of libations is offering to the gods? So when you think about it, my bar is kind of a, like a temple. Oh. Does that make it respectable enough for Otto? Very much so. Uh, I don't know. Hi, Kai. Don't call me my dude. You gotta come out before sunrise, my dude. Don Patrol! My man, you said this three damn times. You are definitely off the list, guy. You are off the list as marriage candidate. Sorry. Uh, Francis, come over here. Uh, we need to give you a cup of coffee, please. I serve it in a dish. <laughs> Did Angus tell you I haven't been eating? Well, it's true, I guess. Thanks. I'm sorry, is that not your favorite thing? Do you not like coffee? All right, well, there you go. Have fun with that. Hello, Otto. Francis has an incredible eye for detail. The filigree on his most recent pieces is quite something. Vanessa loves those pieces, too. Every last one in the set. Yo, I have a feeling that Otto might not be such a... Okay, so this is my... There's Vanessa. I, I might not have, like... This is my, my theory here. Otto might not be such a bad guy. But he's married an expensive wife. What I mean by that is, like... It, it takes a special person to love Otto. 
and Otto has found this special person, but this special person requires jewelry, the biggest house, the best food, the Merlot, the filet mignon, you know, and he's struggling to keep his head above water. So he's done some shady things, done this for that to make a little bit of extra money just to keep his wife happy. That's my theory. Maybe he's not such a bad guy. Maybe he's in a terrible situation. And he has to keep that image as a mayor. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about this. Speaking of Vanessa, she's in the jewelry shop. You and Lena were friends when you were younger, yes? Would you say you know her well? Not really. It was so long ago, and we were just kids then. Funny. My best friend Amy, I feel like if we could see each other again tomorrow, it would be just like old times again. But I guess I'll never really know. Hurt me. Tilt me sideways. Hey, Violet. Have you met Shelby yet? He lives in the woods. He may seem a bit unusual, but he knows a lot about wild plants. If I gave you... Okay, nope. Alright, I was gonna say if I gave you flowers, but maybe not. She's like, I'm tired of flowers. I don't want any flowers. Snowdrop seeds. What is Plant these snowdrop seeds in the garden bed and wait five days for them to mature. We have not made snowdrop seeds. Only tulips. It was a school. No, the school's not open. It's a freaking wait. It's Wednesday at three. I guess. Sorry, it, school's over. Hey, Angus. We already talked to you today. Sorry, Parker. Have you seen that old silver willow tree in the woods? I would really love a sample of the wood, but I know better than to take a saw to it. Every now and then, I pass by hoping I'll get lucky, and it will drop a branch. I think it's more that he has low self-esteem and thinks he needs to buy her love. I don't think either of them are bad people. She just might be that kind of person where she needs a little bit of a uh, little bit of materialistic things, right? Absolutely. And um, that's a little unfortunate, of course. But, um, you know, it, I, I mean, he dresses nice. <laughs> He dresses nice. <laughs> oh, Natalia. Everybody's turning in for the night. That's rightfully so. Let's go into our basement. Uh, 250 is what we wanted for this bad boy. I think we just needed wood, though. Oh, no, we got it. Good. 200 is what we needed. So let's make this. There we go. Now we have a candle maker. Hooray! I would like to make beeswax candle, please. What's soy? You need soy milk and animal fat. We can at least make beeswax. So we're going to start crafting some beeswax. Don't mind my beeswax. It's none of your beeswax, right? None of your beeswax would I do. Have I... I forgot. Did I... Feed the chicken today. I gotta, like, remember to feed the chicken now. Oh, my lord. Chicken! Did I feed you today? I did. Thank God. That was the first thing I did today, because I bought him today. I think, right? Yeah. Okay, I need to get into that, uh, mindset now. I'm all I could. Oh, you can't plant because you have no, uh, no strength? That sucks. Very well. Grandma, you alright? You doing okay? Do you have any TV in here at all? Like, what do you do? Do you just stare at a wall all day? I can't imagine. Am I ready? <sighs> dun, 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 Thursday. Ah, oh, yes, pet the kitty. Yeah, I should have done that. Honeybee, oh. can we chat for a moment before you go out for the day? Oh no, this is gonna be it, huh? I want you to know I've left you the farm in my will. I already spoke to Arthur about it, and he understands. Farm life was never for him. I don't want you to feel obliged if you'd rather return to your old life in the city. But tell me, do you want to stay on after I'm gone? 
This would be the hardest thing to say. I'm not sure. This would also be the hardest thing to say. You're not dying. Probably the most inappropriate thing to say. Uh, yeah, of course. I, I would love to stay on. Of course I want to stay, Grandma. Oh, that's wonderful. I knew you would love it here. I'm glad that's settled then. I'll have Otto finish oh, Lena. the paperwork. Morning. Brought you some groceries. Oh, let me get you some money. Oh, don't you dare. Six eggs and one milk. Parker and I could do. <laughs> Thank you, Lena, dear. You will look after Tara for me, won't you? I've done what I can to get her ready to take my place here, but she'll need a guiding hand. I will. Well, I better let you rest. Give my love to Marcus when you see him. Wow. Very good. That was nice of Lena to actually bring some groceries, too. Honey Bee, I'm so glad you came here. Even if your circumstances weren't the best. What with you... Uh... <laughs> Losing my fiancé and my job in the same week? Yeah. But I... I tried to make the best of it. We had dozens of these miniature champagne bottle wedding favors, and it was too late to take back the deposit on the cake. Oh my so god. I had all of my girlfriends over for a champagne and cake unengagement party. Yeah! And I even wore my dress. Yeah! That's the right spirit. I wish I'd been there. I bet it was a ball. Yeah! <laughs> well, uh, I may have gone to the bathroom to cry once or twice. But yeah, it was great. It's like those ladies who have like the uh, the divorce parties, right? Kind of the same, not really. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Good for her. Get more of that going. So distillery is probably what I need. Uh, essence. Ah, that's the essence. We need a copper ingot. And how much money? Sorry. How much money? 250. All right. So there we go. We're starting to get an ideas here. All right. So that's how we're going to get the essence. Any more beeswax for me? No beeswax yet? All right. How's this going? Is this good? This takes a while. Okay, nine hours. Very well. Cool. Who's cutting onions? I know, right? <laughs> we have milk. We can give the cat milk. I mean, I know Lena brought it for us, but... Definitely could uh, do that. Pet the cat. Give the cat milk. Should we give the cat milk? I feel like we should. We gotta also make sure we... Um, Feed our chicken. Oh, look at that. Oh, you'll love to see it. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Absolutely. There we go. Nice. Delicious. You discovered a cat's favorite food. All right. Let me, like, actually see how much it costs to make that speed boost. <laughs> now that I'm, uh, now that I've experienced speed boost and now that I'm out without speed boost, I, uh, I desperately need speed boost now. Oh, wait. Actually, hang on a sec. Go back down. You should be able to make black ink. No problem, right? Yeah. We'll do... Um, sorry. We'll do... Five. There we go. And then we will hit it with the speed boost, please, and thank you. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Yeah, now now I'm hit with it. Miracle Grow, what is this? The potion can be poured on seeds and or plants to speed up their growth. Can also be used on... Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is... I think I might get some wheat. I'm going to go buy some... I'm going to buy three things of wheat. I'm going to use the wheat on the... Um, I'm going to use the potion on the wheat. I need to go to the chicken. Hang on. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Ah, yes, look at you. Here's your little chicken feed. There you go, buddy. Oh, I love that little noise. Pet the bunny as well. Pancho, not Pancho. Hey, Leslie, how you doing? 
Looks like you had the speed up enchantment you can use on the candle. Is that right? Hang on a sec. Let me see. First time seeing elderly uh, dying mid game, not at start. Hits different. Ah, so the miracle growth can actually work on this too. Is that right? Okay. Very well. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use the three potions on wheat. Right? Can we do that? Not today for wheat? Uh, what? Oh. Closed on a Thursday. Makes no damn sense. No sense. Parker tried to pull me into a conversation about cherry blossom trees the other day. Like, yeah, I'm half Japanese and all. Oh. But no, I don't know the difference between Prunus, Kanzan, and Ichio. That's me. Parker really does love flowers, though. It's it's kind of sweet. That Did you see that? That was me. That was actually me. I didn't know she was half Japanese. The more we know. I'm going to go plant my cauliflower then real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Ding dong dong ding a dingy dong. All right, cauliflower. I'm going to plant three cauliflowers. And then um, I'll save the other three plots for the um, for wheat, and I'll use the potion on the wheat. Hey, uh, so do I need a water? No, I guess the soil's good. The soil's good. Okay, cool. All right. With that being said, let's see. Do I dare pop a big rock and possibly get a recipe out of it? Yeah, I dare do that. What am I? What am I talking about? Absolutely. No, nope, don't go in the barn. There we go. I'm always interested to see what kind of recipes I get, because I do like seeing the different recipes in this game. Whoa, what's this? A recipe? Yo, a Persian love cake. That looks delicious. Delicious, delicious. A Persian love cake. That went inside. The rocks went inside with the mouse. Persian love cake. I'm in. I'm for it. Find me up. All right. Let's see. There should be another. Yeah. Another big rock right here to give us a recipe. Feels like a slog to run around town without the speed boost. Once you use it, it does. It felt it felt different coming out of the house. I was like, man, I'm moving oh, slow. What's this? A recipe? Oh, a carrot cake, a traditional carrot cake. Carrot cake is good. Yeah, carrot cake is good. I know it's a like I I almost want to say it's an acquired taste, because it's like some people really there's only two mediums, right? Sorry, there's only two uh two sides of the spectrum here. There's either you really hate carrot cake. Or you really love carrot cake. There's not really like an in-between. Ooh, I will go for that. Oh, I don't think I have any bait, huh? I do have bait. Yes, I do have bait. Give me the lobster. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter what I get now. Let's get the fish. Yeah, let's go for the fish. We don't need the squids anymore. Unless we wanted to use the squid for like a... Um, of course, for like a, a recipe or something. If we can. There we go. Blueberry there. Blueberry there. Blueberry there. Yeah, carrot cake's pretty good. Can't really go too wrong with carrot cake. Hey, Thomas. So, how long's the farm been in your family, Thomas? My dad used to come over on the ferry to work in the mine after the harvest was done for the year. One day, Hazel mentioned the land was for sale. Mom wasn't too sure about leaving our family and community back in Milkwater, but once she saw the view, she knew Dad had found something special. Very good.
I'm on the side of carrot cake, which also goes. Uh, oh no! Time, no! I want it! I want it! Give me! I want it! Give me the bottle! I thought I lost it there for a sec. I'm on the side of the carrot cake, which also goes to anything pumpkin. I oh, on the hate side. So wait, you hate uh, carrot cake and you hate pumpkin anything, right? There we go. I want that. Is it a? It is. A chocolate coconut truffle. I don't even at me on that one. I can't pronounce that. But chocolate coconut truffles can now be crafted in your kitchen. Very cool. I'm on the love side. Didn't realize I liked it until I tried it a few years back. I think that's what it is. I think people will like... I think some people might say, Oh, I, I don't like carrot cake. And then they've never tried it because they're like, Oh, it's carrots and cake. How would I even like that anyways? And then you try it and then you're like, You know what? This is actually not that bad. This is pretty good. Yeah, pumpkin bread. Yeah, sign me up for some pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread... Uh, some banana bread, please. No chocolate chips in my banana bread. Just regular banana bread, please. Uh, pumpkin bread, though. Yes. Let, let me let me add it. Let me add it. Hey, make sure to follow my Pix to Twit account. I post animal photos. Picks to twit the account. Picks to twit influencer, huh? Oh my god. No, no, no. I'm just trying to share my love for my cute little buddies. <laughs> I hate all of it. I'm not picky either, but there's just certain things I'm like la la la. Bleh too. Oh god, camera. I all right, I'll talk to you since you're out here. I think every community needs a place to gather. Well, what about Damon's bar? I mean, uh, healthy place. All right, so, you know, socializing with good people and, uh, you know, having a drink or two with possibly some good eat, some local food that, you know, supplies the, uh, that helps uh, run these farms around town. Oh, not to mention the drinks that you are also drinking help run these farms around town is, it's just not good enough. It, it's not a healthy, healthy establishment to, to, to be a patron of. Is that, is that what you're saying, Cameron? Is, is that, is that what you're saying? Politely F off. How about nuts in the banana bread? I will not take a nut in the banana, please. Or banana bread, please. I love foraging in the spring, but the woods here creep me out, to be honest. Does the woods creep you out? That seems Angus is not part of the coven when he says that. I tried to get Lena to bring a bouquet of flowers over for Hazel, but she said Hazel thinks get well flowers are stupid. <laughs> I mean... That does sound like something Hazel would say. I think that's what sells the carrot cake. What sells carrot cake is the cream cheese icing. Without the cream cheese icing, you don't have a carrot cake, and it's not good. Sophia's food is great, and it sure beats dining with Vanessa and Otto at the mayor's mansion. Do you know what a macrobiotic diet is? It's a horror is what it is. I agree. I dislike anything pumpkin, but I love carrot cake. Oh, look at this. Good people here. I only like plain bread, chocolate bread, and garlic bread. I've never had gar- well, I mean, sorry. I've never had, like, chocolate bread before. Some people make fun of Bruno for drinking all the time, but I get it. He's been through a lot. Pro tip, he likes it when you ask for one of his old stories. Then he gets to, you know... Live in that moment. Live that moment again. Right. Cameron is totally a Theodore. <laughs> okay, so when Francis and Angus have had a few, they do this thing. They pretend to be strangers and order each other drinks like they're flirting for the first time. What? It's weird, but also wildly cute. Oh my god. Vodka beer or apple martini? I will take a apple martini, please. Why did I buy... Oh, they gave me slap chips with the apple martini as well. Oh, cool. Uh, why did I buy the apple martini? Because um, 
Oh, he's not here. I was going to say, Francis is probably a very big Apple Martini fan. You should come out on my boat some afternoon, Tommy. What's going on here? No one's called me Tommy since I was a kid. Besides, I can't watch someone while they're fishing. Makes me sick and heart sore. Your dad never said no to an afternoon of fishing. <sighs> Here's Tara. Ask her instead. Uh... Don't go changing the subject. Now, why don't we just make it happen? What, what just happened? Wait, what, 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 what just happened there? Did they just, like... Cut conversation? That was weird. Things seem pretty tough with Hazel's health, sweetheart. You need a little comfort? You come here anytime, okay? This diner's always open for you. Well, that was very nice, Sophia. Bread is life, bread is God. Hey, Laurel, how you doing? If I want uh, cream cheese frosting, I'll just get red velvet cake. You're not wrong there. Red velvet cake is good. It, it, it's good. Red velvet cupcakes, also good. Uh, I, I, I like red velvet cake and cupcakes. The, the only thing is, is that it's super rich for me. So, like, I can maybe have, like, a few bites and I, I, I probably will tap out. I'm like, okay. I think this is, this is, this is where I'm done, right? But I do like it. It's just rich. Give me the beeswax. Make some more beeswax. We might need to upgrade our shed. If anything. There we go. Grandma, have I talked to you today? I guess not. Or I guess so. Is there any like fish I could top off with myself here? Self here. We need some rice if I'm gonna do that. We did get we did get some slap chips. That's pretty good. We do have um. Oh, what do you need for this? So the Persian love cake, a light cake with almonds and rose water, can be sold to Angus. Carrot cake, a moist cake made with carrots and cream cheese frosting, perfect for an afternoon pick me up. Anything with the word moist, I know people don't like, but anything with the word moist cake i'm pretty much in for the most part walnuts really walnuts interesting uh this gooey chocolatey chocolatey dessert is rolled in fluffy coconut shavings okay fruit salad fresh cut fruit tossed together in a bowl consumed for a light sugar rush of energy uh we need flour for the fish to, fish fingers right yeah yeah, we need flour for that. So we might need to buy some uh, flour eventually. Cool. Thank you. <sighs> Should I go to bed? You shall. <sighs> that conversation in the bar got cut for me too when I was playing. Is it supposed to be like that? Is it supposed to cut like that? Is that just how that scene is supposed to happen? Uh-oh. Morning. Brought you some firewood, Hazel. How kind of you, Thomas. I'll just... Ten wood. Nice. Go somewhere else. Lena told me you've been a bit under the weather. Hmm. I have. But Tara's been doing a pretty good job taking care of the farm. Wouldn't you say? I suppose. Hazel, I just wanted to say thank you. After my dad passed, you and Robert were there for us. I have never forgotten it. Oh, it was the least we could do. Most things I picked up watching your dad in his garden. <laughs> he was right about most things when it came to farming. Hard as it was for me to admit. He was just so stern and impossible to please. Well, I'll be on my way. It's like everybody's saying their goodbyes. Which is kind of sad. Right? They're coming in, they're delivering gifts, and they're like, you know, this is this is this is the goodbye. You know what I mean? Kinda sad. We need to make money though. Here we go. Beeswax. Uh, I will go and get wheat today too. That's what we're gonna do also. Get the pet, pet the kitty cat. Yes, yes, yes. Listen to that purr. 
The combo is fade to black. It's intended. Okay. Okay, let's grab some water here. Thomas reminds me of Jacob's dad in the Twilight movie. Okay. We have that going now. Let's go take a look at our beeswax real quick. How's that going? Uh, 13 hours. Very good. Okay. 13 hours. And then we will feed the chicken. We'll feed the chicken. We'll go buy some... Uh, I would say go buy some wheat, but we're probably not going to have enough money to buy the wheat. Unless we sell a few things, which we will. Pet the Pancho. Thank you, Pancho. The Pancho has green eyes, too. And we got a chicken feather. Oh, there's a gate to it. <laughs> okay. We don't need to jump over every time. I always forget about the bar because I'm elsewhere. Hey, Natalia. You know, a girl's got to learn to rely on herself. That's what swinging the hammer has taught me. Ever thought of picking one up? <laughs> me? Oh, no. Nope. No, no, no. Definitely not. Well, you let me know when you're ready to give it a go. She was, uh, she was on some independent shiz, traded it all for her husband and some kids, right? No? <clears throat> Lena, I need to buy some wheat from you, Lena. We need it. I, I need to sell some things first, though. Uh, let me sell first. Uh, coconuts, we will sell coconuts. So our blueberries, we need, how much do we need? 25, this, yeah, this is enough. Then we're gonna need three of these, please. Thank you, Lena, appreciate it. And then I need to talk to Francis. Actually, let me talk to Kai, because Kai, we can sell the beeswax to $100 for the beeswax candle. You damn well know I'm sending this. There you go, Kai, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is weird. I could have swore I got a new shipment of chocolate bars in, but the box is gone. <gasps> Maybe it was one of the kids? I've heard they like to prank people. Nah, brah. Emmy always pays for her chocolate with her allowance. She takes pride in her junior budgeting skills. Maybe I'm just burned out from doing two-a-day sessions this past week. Two-day sessions? Then the week you're burned out? Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Kai. I need to talk to Francis, though. Francis, we have, like, an apple martini for him. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Flower for fish sticks, too. Yeah, good shout. Which would you prefer for a wedding ring? Silver or gold? I'm gold. single, so... I know, I know. I just meant, like, if you were a burly blonde dude who spends most of your time kneading dough. Gold. I have a silver one in real life, but this is because this was a ring that was in the family. Um, it was my mom's dad's ring, uh, and she gave it to me for the wedding, but I would like to have a gold wedding ring eventually. Let's go with gifting. Yes. Apple martini, please. James Bond. I know this is your favorite, right? You gotta be loving apple martinis. Did Angus tell you I haven't been eating? Well, it's true, I guess. Thanks. No, it's not your favorite either. What do you like? You are a very complicated person. Excuse me, Francis. Oh, that looks like a pina colada or some sort of thing going on there. I see. All right. What's going on in here, Marty? What are you doing in this uh, in Angus's establishment here? Do you have any family back in the city, Marty? Not anymore. I used to work with my dad, but he moved. We're, uh, we're not really in touch these days. I'm really sorry. That was how it was for Hazel and my dad for a long time. Very well. Can I actually buy from you? Like, no, okay, you just, oh, there's banana bread right there. Look at that. Chocolate cupcake, a muffin. Baklava, that looks good. Never had that in real life. Blueberry tart, never had that in real life either. A Danish, I, I have had a Danish. A cream cheese Danish. Strawberry cream cheese Danish, always hits the spot, no? 
Pounding dough is great stress relief. I beg your pardon? Whenever Francis and I get in a fight, I sell a lot of loaves the next day. All right. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Ugh. I have mountains and mountains of paperwork to file before spring ends. But as mayor, it is my solemn duty to vanquish every last form for Fairhaven. Yeah. No. I can't believe how much. Hey, Swamp Dog, how's it going? Hazel's garden, but don't run yourself down. Otherwise, you'll get a lecture from Amira. She will like make you better, though. Okay, very well. <clears throat> if you buy the recipe book, you can make blueberry muffins. Uh, yeah, you, you probably make uh, some more, um, more, uh, definitely more pastries if you buy the recipe book. Same with like, at the butcher shop too. You could probably make some crazy things. Hello, Damon. Yeah, so if you're trying to impress a girl who sells flowers, don't give her flowers. But You've said that before, Damon. Hey, Kim, how you doing? Ah, <sighs> Bruno and Lena are lucky to have family here. I mean, yeah, I moved away from the city to get some space for my family, but I do miss them sometimes. One hundred and twenty-five gold. We do need more gold um, because we want to buy a. I don't know what it's called, but it will give us the essence in our workshop. We need to buy the the. I don't know what the machine is called, but we need to buy the machine. Absolutely. Let's see if we can do some fishing. I don't have a oh, I don't have any bait. Let's not do some fishing. Baklava is so sweet, and I like sweets. Hey, Cassie, how you doing? I would like to give it a shot. Baklava is super sweet, like a bucket of sugar. Baklava is our traditional sweet. I'm Turkish. Let's pop this uh, rock over here. Hey, Darren. How you doing, Darren? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Fun fact, baklava is not the face covering that the SWAT put over their face before they kicked down your door. That's a balakava. Balakava. <laughs> the more you know now. Hey, Night Fury Alpha, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. <laughs> is that what it is, the distillery? What's this? A recipe? What is this? Flan can now be crafted in your kitchen. I would, I want to try flan as well. I've heard very mixed things about flan. People like flan, people don't like flan. Uh, but I still would be willing to try it. Actually, you know what? Is Francis in his shop? Because I can sell him an amethyst, if anything. Let's see here. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, will you actually take a gift? No, you won't. Okay, let's go here. Oh, there we go. Hey, me, Amy. Thanks, Amy, for subscribing. At least I made it back before the stream ended. Hey, shout out to you, Tiger. I'm doing peachy, hoping and praying this new storm misses Florida. Only time will tell. What? Uh, is there a big storm going on over there? Yeah? What's it called? What's the storm called? There we go. Yeah, we need flour for the fish sticks eventually, but... I think the distillery will help us. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. And I need copper, too. I need also money for copper so I can make copper so I can make the distillery. Oh, another amethyst. That's sick. Moist. Very cool. Let's go. Storm 9 will have a name later tonight. It may be a major hurricane by Wednesday. Holy moly. That is scary. That is super scary. I have not tried flan. Yeah, I have not tried flan. Yeah, absolutely. Here's to hoping you guys don't get hit by the uh, storm. Absolutely. Or at least, if anything, get a little bit of maybe... At, if, if you had to take anything, just get a little bit of... A little bit of, like, you know... 
the, the clouds and storm that come with it, but not the major hit, right? Not the eye of the storm. We don't want the eye of the storm. Absolutely not. And it... <clears throat> Did I talk to the cat? I did not talk to the cat. Aww. Hi, Seraphima. All the talk about cake reminded me that I need to make muffins, but I'm all out of muffin paper cups liner. Oh, no. <laughs> and if it comes through Central Florida, I will spend several days at the hospital while it passes through. I'll work the day and sleep on air mattresses and on the pharmacy office at night. Is that right? Now, is that... Is that just how you you, you have to do or what you have to do in, in, the, um, in the medical profession? Like, do you have to stay there because there's a storm? Or is it just because the storm will hit because you are at work? So, I guess my question is, is will there be multiple people doing the same thing you're doing? I haven't really talked to the kids in this game. I don't know, like building a relationship with the kids kind of seem a little weird. Helped his sister out. That was cool of you. She pretty much takes care of him by herself. I don't want to get too chummy with the children. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. That's what I want. Yeah, we get uh, sequestered at the sequestered sequestered at the hospital because roads may be impassable. Oh, I see. Designated teams that stay during the storm. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that. Cassie says, any hints on uh, this game as far as what I should do or shouldn't do? Not really. It's it, The game is, is fairly, like, straightforward indeed. Um, so there's not, like, a right or wrong. I don't think I would say there's not really, like, a right or wrong way to go about your 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 way or your, uh, your time. Actually, let's go. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, here. Go. Distillery and mortar paste, pe pestle. We, we need to get both of these in. Let's see. Let's put this right there. And then we need to get distillery. I need one copper ingot and $250. I have not $250 and I don't have a copper ingot. So I got to get that too as well. Uh, but let's actually look into that. Hang on a sec. Because we need to get calcium. Yeah, we need to get powdered calcium. Which is from shells. Perfect. Which now we can make flour once we get wheat, which is perfect. We don't need to go buy, you know, uh, you know, flour or anything like that. We'll just wait for our wheat to fit, uh, to grow, which I should plant by now. I could. Um, let's see. Slap chips. Wheat seeds. There we go. Water them. And then potion them. This miracle grow. Bam! There we go. And then we'll get the flower in eventually. Sadly, Rick, girl, I just tune in. How are we lighting McQueen? Is it a spell? Oh, how are we lightning McQueen? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it, it's a, it, oh, hang on a sec. Wait a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, was that a one? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. How did that work? Um, wait a sec. Time out. Did I, that, I didn't just use up all of them, did I? Miracle Grow Potion. Now I have one left. Here we go. Did I put it on there and I, I didn't just see? I guess I did put it on there. Whoops. 
Yeah, it's a, uh, what we're doing is, um, I'll show you here in a sec. I'll show you here. There we go. So the reason why we're fast is because we are using this speed boost. Yeah, we're using the, the speed boost, which I should probably make another one. We'll make another one. Might as well make this as well. There we go. We'll get those in, and then we will also, what is it, uh, make some more paper eventually. I guess we don't need to make paper right now. Okay, I think we're good. Time for bed. By the way, hope your neighborhood is still not near the fires. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, right now we're, we're fine. We are, we are, we are good. Uh, currently, near, you know, when it comes to the fires. Mm. Who is that outside, dear? Oh, no. It's Vanessa. <laughs> I don't have the energy for her. Tell her I'm asleep. I feel you, Grandma. You're not asleep. Your eyes are open. Close the door. Close the door. I just wanted to bring some cupcakes for your grandmother. <sighs> She's asleep, but I'll take them. Wonderful. I made them myself. I'm not the best baker, but I tried. They're very dark. Or they look delicious. We will just say they look delicious. Oh, these look delicious, Vanessa. Thank you. You're welcome. I would have bought cupcakes from Angus, but I wanted to show that I really do care. By the way, I'm not just Ooh. here because I'm the mayor's wife. When I was in high school, my best friend got sick. Also cancer. I supported her as much as I could. But it wears on you being a caretaker. Did your friend recover? Her name was Amy. And she didn't. No. I am so sorry. It's all right. It was a long time ago. In any case, I'm here if you want to talk. And now I'll be going. I don't want to wear out my welcome. Huh. Grandma, did you hear that? Mm, what? Uh, I was just resting my eyes. And you said it was only pretend. I'll leave you be. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Grandma. I'm sorry I didn't visit more over the years. Oh, don't be sorry. I always meant to come by or call or... Oh, you were stuck in the middle of a generational spat. Can't blame you for not wanting to get on the wrong side of Arthur's temper. He didn't have a right to keep us apart. We lost so many years that we could have spent together. Wow. Anger makes folks do things they regret, honeybee. He was sore at me for not telling him your grandpa was sick. But I was just following Robert's wishes. Robert didn't want Arthur to come and fuss over him. Can't imagine why not. I love being fussed over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to fuss away then. Wow, that's that's pretty deep there. Learning the backstory as we go is always in intriguing. Absolutely. It always seems to be more and more is being uncovered as we go. About this and like, you know, prevention. Like, I didn't know, like, prevention, right? Prevention of being, of seeing grandma. This girl sleeps daily in her shoes and wears, or sleeps in her shoes and wears the same outfit daily. <laughs> hey crazy cajun how you doing there's our chicken pancho <clears throat> hey thank you fane for three months very much so thank you for the three months uh, support. I do appreciate that. Why are my eyes suddenly burning, right? Thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. Three months. That's, uh, that's a quarter of the year, man. Quarter of the year. I got a cricket from that? What the heck? There's some weird things going on. I need to go get a copper here, and I need to go to the, uh, the cauldron as well. Hey, Natalia. 
I'm gonna legit cry when Hazel dies. I saw Vanessa on her way to your farm with a plate of cupcakes. She really is such a thoughtful first lady to take that kind of time. And she works with the twins every day. The League of the Conscious Mind doesn't have saints, but if we did, she would certainly qualify. <laughs> hey, nice. Okay. Uh, I need your services. I need a copper ingot, please. Thank you. I need a copper ingot. For the uh, distillery. I need to run to the coven. Coven. Actually, you know what? Let's go back home. We'll go back home. We'll build the dis... Oh, wait. We need $200. All right. Let's not go back home. <laughs> Instead, we'll go down. And we'll come through. And we'll go through. Hey, yo. Talk to Lena. Hey, Lena. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. My kids can be a bit of a handful, but they mean well. Most of the time. Most of the time. And then for you, we want to do... Give you some eggs. We got additional eggs from, I believe it was, oh, it was from Lena. <laughs> we could resell the eggs back to her, but that won't give us uh, what we're looking for, I don't think. I can't remember if the distillery was 200 or 250. So that's fine. We'll just walk away. Is Bruno here? Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Poor Otto got so seasick when he was a kid. One time we got stuck in a side seat coming back to port and, oh, the stern was a mess. I'll tell you that. He refused to go out on the water from then on. Oh, very much so. Uh, can I see what you got here? So you have worms, you have chubs, you have recipes for fish fans. Can I sell you a cricket? I could sell you a cricket if I want to. I could sell you sardines if I wanted to as well. I could only get three for those, which I'm not going to do. Um, yeah. Recipes for fish fans seem interesting. Tuna is right there, but we need to level up his shop in order to get tuna. So that's not going to happen. You should check out Sophia's diner. Oh, is it good? Yeah, her chow is sucking. All right, now we're running into reruns there with that man. That man has reruns. A lot of reruns. Okay, let's see if we can get away with a little bit of fishing today as well. Put through here. We're pay we're basically a little bit playing the waiting game. Because we're waiting for some of our stuff to get done uh, uh, growing and then our st Oh, thank God. And a few things uh, done to get um, like the beeswax. We we're waiting for the beeswax as well. The beeswax actually might be done right now. So I should go check on that. Then I can sell it to Lena. Then I can get the distillery. Yeah. All these ideas. Okay, go down, Mr. Bottle. Dip down. There you go. Thank you. What do we got? What do we got? What recipe? Mold wine. What the heck is mold wine? I've never seen a glass of wine with this many things inside of it. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen something like that before. Oh my lord. <laughs> hey, Procu Bear. Give me the big one. Give me the big one. Imagine if you had to level up the shops by selling things to them in real life before you were allowed to buy most of their stock. <laughs> that'd be that'd be pretty crazy, dude. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You imagine like going to Walmart, going to Target or something and be like, yeah, you know, I can buy lettuce, but I'm not allowed to buy carrots until I sell Target shoes <laughs> something weird like that there's no more big uh big rocks on the on the land right so we're good on recipes as far as rocks go right it's a hot and spicy wine is that why the cinnamon's in there looked like there was a cinnamon stick in it 
Fish fan a dish or a fish arrange as fans. <laughs> It's a good question on that. Let's go into the mine. Mold wine is the best. Mold wine is like apple cider, but you know, wine. Uh, I'm not a fan of apple cider. I will say. I know some people like hot uh, apple cider. Not a big fan. Unless it's sparkling apple cider, then I like sparkling apple cider, apple cider but like hot cider. I'm not a fan of hot cider. Isn't that like a like a a seasonal drink too as well? Hot cider. Don't they make hot apple cider? Best drink when you're sick in the winter. Okay, there well there you go. There's a seasonal thing coming up right there. Don't know if it's common anywhere else, but in Germany, we always get mold wine at the Christmas market. Ah. So it's like a Christmassy Christmas drink. Uh, like, a, like I was thinking like a winter seasonal thing. I mean, it's, you know, somebody compared to a cider. That's what I would say. You love hot apple cider? Oi, oi, oi. That's an acquired taste. I believe that 100%. It's like eggnog. Back to the whole carrot cake thing. Eggnog. There's people that absolutely hate eggnog. And there's people that absolutely love eggnog. There's no in-between. There's no in-between. By the way, the Smexy Devil just, uh, just subscribed. Shout out to the Smexy Devil. We're gonna go to the, to the cauldron now. Mold wine, give me some time to mold about it. <laughs> I always thought hot apple cider was more of a holiday or winter thing. Same. That's what I always thought, too. It's been fun hanging out this afternoon. Hope everyone has a good day. See you, Serendipity. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out with us. Appreciate that. Can't wait for the pumpkin patches to start opening up and selling apple cider donuts. Okay, I would I, I would try that. I would try apple cider donuts. Come on now. Sign me up. I'm ready to go. Okay. Peanuts. We've made our blessings. wife loves eggnog i can't stand it i like eggnog i'm an eggnog person i'm nogging with the eggs danielle does not like eggnog i don't think she does i don't think she's an eggnog person but i do like the eggnog i like the occasional uh, eggnog uh, drink there's cold medicines that have hot apple cider flavor so that is all i can associate it with Cold medicines. Really? Hot apple cider associated with it, yeah? Hey! Darren! Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. Very much so. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your generosity. Very generous of you. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. I know, like, the whole, like, hunkering down. A little bit of anxiety. A little bit of, like, trying to plan out for the... It's hard to plan out for the next month or so. With this, uh, even, maybe, maybe not month. Maybe a few weeks, depending on how it goes with the storm. But I do appreciate so that. I never had apple cider donuts. I would be uh, do that. I used to love eggnog as a child, but I can't really get into it now. Have you ever had coquito? So good holiday liquor drink. I I I don't even know what a coquito is. I've never had eggnog. I'm not really. It's not really a thing in New Zealand. Is that right? You like eggnog too? Ooh. Okay, we're gonna check our beeswax now. I should have done that before I went to bed, but I didn't. The sun is rising on the horizon. Nine time again. Thank you, Ainworth, and have a good rest of your evening and have a better 
uh, rest of your day slash morning when you do wake up. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. I'm not a fan of, like, cold medicine. Okay, so obviously, like, oh, I'm not a fan of cold medicines. What the hell does that mean? What I mean is, like, if I'm sick, I would rather take a pill than I would rather have cough syrup. Cough syrup is, like, the worst thing of all time. I can't stand. I will, if I, unless I'm, like, I, I, you know, dying. I'm like, I gotta have some cough syrup to get, like, to kick this sickness away. I will try every way to avoid cough syrup. Oh my god. Pancho is a big chicken now. Hello, Pancho. The cold medicines are powder. Uh, you put them in hot... Oh, okay, okay. Like the, um, what's it called? Um, like phasal, uh, not nasal flu. Uh, what, what is that called? The... The, like the sparkling, yeah. I, I know. I the you put it in your drink and you're like, what is it called? Something flu. But now I now I get it. Now I see. I didn't know there's apple cider ones. There you go. Give me my beeswax. Thank you. Go downstairs too. We're going to sell the beeswax. We're going to buy the distillery finally. Take a look at this. Uh, we already have that going. That will eventually come as well. I used to like eggnog when I put alcohol in it. Now they, now that I don't drink any anymore, I don't like eggnog. <laughs> fair, fair play. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough on that one. Hey, Kai. I need to talk to you. You are the person I need to talk with. I need to sell you a freaking honey, honey beeswax. Hey, nice. We actually got a level up on that. Nice. Let's see where that takes us. Cinnamon, chili, pineapples, olives, and a lime tree. You gotta hit the point break off South Beach. The rocks make it a little gnarly on low tide, but at high tide, it's epic. I've been backlogging watching the Rising Star 2 videos. I had been getting behind on Cam's videos because of, all, because of all the Elden Ring build videos I've been watching lately. The Rising Star is pretty cool, right? I like that game. That game is a pretty cool game. I love the, the, the tycoon management simulation in it. It's really good. They did it. The guy did a really good job. I think that was by one person to one, uh, one dev. The honey cough syrup with, with the honey cough syrup make me no the i i okay so look i stumbling over my words here the um this first thank you um i think i've lost the uh, the, the the desire to like grape flavor because of cough syrup grape flavor people like grape flavor i like grape soda okay i like grape soda let me not uh, grape soda grape kool-aid i can get down with that right other than that, grape flavor anything, I'm not really getting down to it. Why? Because of like just growing up and having grape cough syrup was the worst. Absolute worst. Right? Let's see here. Spirit of Flame. How much is it? Like, what do we need for the Spirit of Flame again? Hang on a second. Let me see. Spirit of Flame is not here. Spirit of Flame is. Oh, that's the last thing is the essence of, of copper. That's the only thing we need. And then we have the Spirit of Flame. Nice. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Who's that kitty? Wait. Tom Petty? There's a cat song in there, right? Who's that? Oh. Is it? Who's that kitty cat? Is that what it is? Tom Petty is, is in my head here. That Theraflu. That's what I was talking about. Theraflu. Yes, I'm thinking of Theraflu, I guess. <laughs> it's Sunday. Everybody's closed today. Go figure. Ah, uh, ruined again. What? Uh, is everything all right? I burn the caramel again. Chuck <sighs> would always say I should just buy it in the store, but it's not the same. I. 
could never serve a dessert made with caramel from a jar, like at some highway truck stop. I have pride, you know? Oh, I agree. Store caramel is basically the devil. <laughs> it is. It truly is. Um, that reminds me, Theraflu, um, and even like on the, on the, on the, on the realms of like Alcacessor, but, um, my dad was like really sick one time and we were like on a trip, like we were driving somewhere and he was like super sick and he doesn't ever get sick. Right. And we were just on the road traveling on like vacation. He, he's like, I just feel awful. And he felt so bad to the point where he's like, I need something in my system. Um, or I just, I, I'm going to like, I, you know, I don't feel like it's just not feeling good. He took like the Theraflu, right? And you know the Theraflu that you put like the powder into the, your hot drink? Well, we were driving and he's like, F it. Just give me the Theraflu. And he grabs the packet and he pours it in his mouth. Worst mistake you could ever make. His tongue got incinerated <laughs> by that medicine. His tongue was not right for months. Does the bar have a name? Sure does. The bar. That isn't a name. Probably get this sometime, but I just bought Slime Rancher, so I'll wait. Seems like a name to me. I'll wait a bit to buy another game. Sounds good. Sounds good. Grape soda is still awesome, but you're right. Grape Robotussin uh, flavor. <laughs> Flavor a bad I gave grape a bad name. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Like Pepto Bismol, I can handle. I know Pepto Bismol is like something different, right? Obviously, it's not like your 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 nighttime met you know cough syrup. It's more for like upset stomach, diarrhea, right? But that is not too bad to take. But there's options. There's options. They have the. They have the um, the Pepto Bismol, you know, liquid form. They have Pep Pepto Bismol, uh, the the dissolves, the like the the chewable dissolves, like you would see in like Tums, you know. So there's options there. Oh, wait, got one. Tom Jones? Is that who I'm thinking? Tom Jones? Did I say Tom Petty? What's new pussycat? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. What's new pussycat? Is that Tom Jones? Did I say Tom Petty? I did say Tom Petty, didn't I? Great medicines have turned me off of grape flavored everything. Yeah. Whoever like back in the 60s, maybe in the 50s or who whenever this this thing became afloat, whoever was in charge and saying universal medicines should be grape flavored Honestly, should like get everything taken away from them. <laughs> they should be locked up and throw away the key. Why did they like? Oh no, dude! Grape flavored. You ready for it? You ready for the big one? This one's even worse than grape. If you think grape is bad, this is worse. Ready for it? Cherry, cherry flavored. I like cherries. I like cherry flavored things. Cherry flavored cough syrup. Who the hell was in charge there? Somebody should get fired there too. Cherry flavored? Absolutely not. Okay, let's make the spirit of flame now. Now, what I should do is I definitely should wait for my crops to grow before I uh, transfer it over to the next. I guess I'm assuming this is transferring it over to the next season when you use the Spirit of Flame, right? That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. But I have the Spirit of Flame now. Am I ready for... <sighs> cough lollies? Wait, cough lollies? Those are either menthol or honey. I haven't had any kind of syrup. Really, cough lollies. I didn't even know there was cough lollies. Are you talking like cough drops? Those things? Theraphone makes a hot hop, hot apple cinnamon flavored flu and sore throat powder. That's better than the lemon one. The lemon one's kind of tough. 
Undiluted, yeah, undiluted Theraflu, yeah. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> bad. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Y'all have grape cough syrup? Weird, we have black currant. Black currant's good. Black currant I want candies, at least. Get off the ground and in my bag. Oh, is there an egg in the coop because the chicken is an adult now? I think the egg, yeah, the egg spawns outside here. We gotta get money for the chicken as soon here because we're running out of feed eventually. I choose Tums over Pepto. I, 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 I would too. <laughs> you would see that in a jackass skit? I know, right? Bad, bad thing to do. Don't ever do that. Don't ever have that. Don't ever put Theraflu powder in your mouth. It almost like put a hole in his tongue. It was crazy. His tongue was like deformed. For months. And months and months. Apparently Theraflu is a acid. Probably not something you should put in your... No, yeah. It, it's... Yeah, it's exactly that. Yeah. I'm here sucking on cherry flavored cough drops. Okay, cough drops is fine. The uh, the cough syrup, that's where you have to like check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because that that right there is dangerous stuff. That's disgusting. I If I had to choose between cherry and grape, I choose grape all day. That's how bad cherry is. There we go. Might as well pick up all these weeds while we're here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, make sure we're ready to harvest before we uh, turn in that quest. Okay, good shout. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till all those crops are ready to go. That the new messenger. I was never one to attend religious service growing up, but I think he's a real asset to the community. Yeah, we'll harvest all of our spring crops before we change it over to the season. Artificial banana stuff. What about banana Laffy Taffy? Come on now, we can get down with banana Laffy Taffy, no? Oh, look at this, here we go. Hey, Damon, what are you shopping for today? Just stop by to say hi to Lena. She's my unofficial big sister. Damon, if you're visiting me in your free time, it means you have too much of it. <laughs> it's time for you to get a girlfriend. Uh, no, it's not. Give Damon a break. Uh, what's wrong with being signal single or ignore the mis <laughs> ignore the miserable married? Wow, that was that's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let, let's question Lena. <laughs> what's wrong with being single, Lena? I'm fine being on my own. Oh, I didn't mean to offend you, Tara. I was just teasing Damon. <laughs> Thanks for standing up for me, Tara, but Lena's right. I'm used to her ribbon, but I might be ready to meet the right person. So you're single too, right? Hey, there we go. Good friends. Yeah, I might be single, Damon, but you you're, that ship has already sailed, dude. It's not happening. I really love running the shop, but I wish I could mix things up sometimes. There aren't more general things you can sell? If you grow anything I can sell here, I would be happy to buy it from you. Deal. Got a couple. Oh, there's bananas right there. Speaking of the devil, we got some bananas. Now, um, now that we're getting so close to actually getting our own flowers and stuff like that, we're going to be able to sell some good stuff to Dina and Sophia. Or sorry, Lena, not Dina. I'm thinking a superstore. My bad, Dina. Not Dina, Lena. Lena. Um, and, um, we'll be able to, uh, sell Delina and, um, Sophia. But I will sell you the coconut. Sell you the coconut, sell you the banana. We'll do that for now. What is it, Monday? Oh, yeah, they're all closed on Monday, too. They're closed, like, every day. Supposedly the oral liquid steroids that like prednisone or 
does Dex, I'm just going to say Dex, have the worst taste? It's hard to get the kids to take them. Very, very bitter. Whew. There's nothing like a good workout carrying two by fours to get the blood pumping. The most exercise I got before moving here was climbing the metro stairs. Oh, so life on the farm has definitely changed for you then. Make sure you're eating enough to keep your energy up. We don't have Laffy Taffy. That's a crime. That's a crime. No Laffy Taffy is absolute crime. Green apple, banana, Laffy Taffy. That's the way to go. Saltwater Taffy? Any banana saltwater Taffy? Yeah. So, why did you pick Fairhaven, Shelby? Had you ever been here before? No, not in this life at no, least. What? Not in this I life? Living in the city like you stayed too long to say the least. Interesting. Not in this life. The way he uh, describes that. Let's see here. We might have a few things to sell to him too. Uh, let's see. Sell him quite a bit of mushrooms. We don't need all these mushrooms. Sell 10. Sell him a few thistles. Uh... Sell him a few seashells as well. Thank you, Shelby. Hear Natalia, Nat, Natalia sigh when she says Cameron is a real asset to the community. <laughs> Any salt water and candy? Miss with me that with miss me with that? Thanks. Really, no salt water taffy. Really, really, really. Interesting. Hello, Vanessa. Sorry to like interrupt class. I get the sense that I'm not really Lena's favorite person. I am her kid's teacher, so I'm sure that's partly the reason. But has she ever said anything? Um... No? I don't know if I should lie or... No, I, I think she just keeps her circle small. That's fair. It's okay if I'm not everyone's cup of tea. How lucky you are to be one of the few she trusts. Well, if either of you ever need anything, do let me know. Okay. She, she, she seems nice. She does seem nice. What is Laffy Taffy? The greatest taffy of all time. Just about. <laughs> Besides, like, saltwater taffy. Uh, Tara, I thought I saw Vanessa go by on her way to your house with a tray. Oh, yes. She paid Grandma a visit. Oh, thought so. Here. Angus, you don't have to three do that. chocolate cupcakes oh, yes, again. Do. Even the sick have standards. Vanessa doesn't believe in putting butter in her baked goods. What? I think that says it all. That's a crime. We got six chocolate cakes, or sorry, six chocolate cupcakes now. Nice. All right, let's go to the mine. Yeah, Laffy Taffy or Staffy, and then on the wrappers, they all have like jokes. Very cheesy jokes on the on the wrappers. Possibly dad jokes thrown in there as well. I'll stick to Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers are good. I never had like the chewable, like the chewy Jolly Ranchers. I've only had the hard jo Jolly Ranchers. You don't have taffy in Australia? That's a crime in itself too. And we need to find a key. The jokes on the Laffy Taffy rappers are the best. Introduced me to the horrible sense of humor. How do cell phones get around? <laughs> they are mobile. <laughs> uh, that's good. I love that. Hey, Puddin. How's it going, Puddin? Yeah, my dad got better. My dad got better. This was years and years and years ago. Years ago. Probably over a decade ago. Way over a decade, actually. Probably like 15 years ago. But yeah, he was he was good. He's fine. No butter. I don't believe butter should be in my... What the hell is that? Silver, silver ore. Okay, now I just need keys. I don't believe butter should belong into my baked goods. Baked goods should not have butter. That is a crime. 
Even like, I can't believe it's not butter. Wait a sec, did that just... Wait a sec, what the heck just happened there? <laughs> this is a full one? Wow, that's actually really good. Gonna roll out for now. Have a good one, Darren. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for the generosity as well. Hey, Eileen, how you doing? I have to go have a shower. Taking me out for breakfast. Oh, very good. Have a great one, Cassie. Oh, that sounds so good right now. A nice thing of breakfast. I'm all for it. Sign me up. Saltwater taffy is my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Saltwater taffy is good. They make some good flavors, too. There's all different kinds of flavors. There's, like, cotton candy. There's, like, green apple. Banana. This looks like a key to the next level. Oh, what do you know? The keys are in front of the door. All different kinds of flavors. There's, like, like, cake flavors or, like, there's, like, bakery good flavor taffy. They have all different kinds of taffy. Like pumpkin pie taffy or cheesecake taffy or whatever the heck it is. He got me hooked on it. Oh, nice. Very good. You need a fat... You need a fat in a cake or it's dense and vile. Vanessa, give your head a wobble. <laughs> I'm all like... Have a great day, everyone. Amazon delivery delivered my package to one of my neighbor's houses, so I have to go track it down. Oh, my God. That's annoying. That's super annoying. But thank you for hanging out with us, crazy Cajun. The blue raspberry saltwater taffy is my favorite. Oh, there you go. There you go. Blue raspberry. I think I I think even when it comes to saltwater taffy as well. I think saltwater taffy is still another thing where you either like it or you don't. I don't think there's an in-between on that either. I think you like ta saltwater taffy or you don't like saltwater taffy. Now, you might think saltwater taffy, right? You might be hearing the salt water part of it, which you don't taste like. You don't taste anything salt water. It's just basically, it's, it's just taffy. It's just candy. It's just chewy candy is all. <laughs> but the one thing that's really cool is like seeing how people make taffy. That looks cool. That's pretty cool. Seeing people how they make taffy is cool and seeing people how they make um candy canes candy canes is a pretty cool thing to witness as well they're very similar in how they're made candy cane and um taffy okay let's go we're out i'm not using another one it's getting late come on tara Go through, go through. What are we at? Like level 10, I believe? Level 11. We're on level 11. Okay. Alright. Let's turn in for the night. Actually, let's check our beeswax before we do that. Find your beeswax. We gotta make sure we get money, enough money too for the uh, chicken when we get the chicken feed. Uh, when we're out of chicken feed, actually. There we go. Make some more beeswax. There we go. Cool. Nice. Let's go downstairs real quick. Take a look at the potion. That has been collected. Very good. Created. Collected. All the above. Bring the spirit flame potion to the high priestess, which we won't do quite yet until we're done with all of our crops. Turn in Should for the I night. You shall. Every time I catch a stream, y'all are talking about food and I end up hungry. Like, yes. First of all, hello, Leo. Second of all, these games produce the topic of food so easily, I think. <laughs> They do. They really do. I could be doing the community board stuff, right? But I haven't. Oh, there we go. Some bees are ready. I like the the how the door uh, opens when it's ready to be harvested. Then it closes. 
I should like get more of those. There we are. Oh gosh. I don't like that sound when the when the water has no pail uh when the pail has no water in it. An eerie sound. It does it does happen a lot when we talk about food. I mean food is a I don't know. Food is like a third of what we live for, right? <laughs> easy easy topic to talk about. Many foods, many creations, many concoctions around the world. Things that people have heard of, things that people have never heard of, things that people have tried, things that people have never tried. Things people that love, things that people hate, you know? It's always interesting. Aww, who's a good kitty? That's, a, that's a very good cat. Oh, it gave me a bone. Interesting. Get the egg. Thank you. Talk to our Pancho. Hello, Pancho. I could buy another chicken if I wanted to, I guess, right? Pet the Pancho. Yeah, food is a universal conversation piece. Absolutely. I'm currently eating a bowl of lentil soup. It's so thick I had I need a knife and fork. I love it. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I'd be down on that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so none of our crops grew. It is what it is. Let's go this way. This way. Um, I might see if Bruno... Bruno... Might see what I can do with Bruno right now. Potentially. Let's grab that. Um, I'll go to the beach first. Yeah, we'll go to the beach first. Uh, blueberries. Yeah, I'll pick those up. I'm currently stuffing my face with chips and salsa, so I just don't I so I don't actually have to cook. You know what? Nothing wrong with that. I have I have done that plenty of times. It's a pretty central part of human culture. There you go. <laughs> if there's anything that humans can relate to universally as a whole, as a as a as a race, as you know, it's food. It is food. That's the first time we've got a clam, really. Powerful burrowing burrowing foot. This kind is oceanic and a rare catch. Oh. Cool. I do like clams. I am a big clam eater as well. I will only have clams at a restaurant. I will not do it myself. Typically, any seafood. Um, if I ever have seafood, I have it outside of the house, not inside of the house. Just because Danielle doesn't like this, you know, doesn't really much like seafood. Therefore, she does not like the smell of the seafood in the house. And if you've ever like had lobster at home, dude, the the crab or lobster, if you cook crab or lobster at home, the smell of that will stay in your house for like weeks, man. Weeks. It like bleeds into the to the wallpapers. I don't know, it's crazy. Thanks for coming. A very in. very heavy. We'll get the ball rolling with other customers. Very very heavy uh smell to it. Hey, ne uh, Nepsy, Nepsy Naps, how you doing, Nepsy? Good to see you again. Oh, look at you, you just waddle everywhere. I love it. Hope you're doing well. If you ever spot a spare coconut on the beach, I would be totally stoked. I get a little homesick sometimes. I find coconuts on the beach all the time, my good man. Chocolate, there's chocolate. Here's your bees wax for you. Thank you. Hey, Bruno. Let's see. Um, talk to him. Watch talk out to him for first. Sophia. She'll try to match up with someone in town. Heck, after Helena passed, she wanted to set me up with Hazel. Uh, no disrespect. Soup for you, days. Oh. But diving back into those waters. <laughs> Helena was the one and only love of my life. And always will be. <laughs> Aw. He has a soft, gentle soul. Now, doesn't he? He does. We want wow, clam goes for 35, really. 
I'll sell that right away. The flounder. I know we can make flounder. Um, we can actually make a sandwich with this. So I might keep that. Sturgeon. Um, I'll keep two. What I'll do is I'll buy some bait. Is this four each? Oh, God. That's disgusting. I don't want to buy that. That's four each, too. Your prices are outrageous here, Bruno. Sorry. I'm not buying one worm for four dollars. Sophia's feeling herself again as she uh, dances to the music, baby. Let's go talk to Amira. Hey, Amira. Allergy season makes me wish Damon's mother was still here. Having the pharmacist handle everyone's medication took so much off my plate. But oh, she was a pharmacist? chance to work at an amazing clinic in South Africa, so I can hardly blame her for leaving. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> it's easier for me to get into games with food as part of the theme. I can't wrap my hand, head around other themes like space or horror. I will say, I like personally myself, and I don't play it hardly ever on the channel, is because I do have a very hard time with like uh, space, um, space theme games. I do have a hard time with that. I have a hard time getting into that kind of stuff. A beautiful day. The sun is shining. Birds are singing. And I've got a list of chores a mile long. Vegetable patch. I would love this. $1,500. Need a lot of soil, iron ingots, and wood. We're actually getting our way up there on soil, so that's that's decent at least. And then we can get a vegetable patch before you know it. Very soon. Very soon we can actually get this. We're only like a few soils away, and then like a couple wood away. And then on top of that, just need money. That's it. My husband loves uh, salmon patties, and I cannot stand the smell. It stinks up the whole house. Oh, that sounds so good, though. Salmon patties do sound good. But yeah, yeah, seafood is just, it's hard to cook at home, just because it does, it does uh, smell up the house a bit. There you go. I might go on to, like, a very deforestation right now. I could eat. Surprising, surprising the sturgeon is only half the price of the flounder. It's usually expensive because they're huge. Hey, yo. Hey, Pat. How you doing? How do you clear the area on your farm? Oh, you just, you can just go through and chop through. Eventually, you'll be able to make structures and things like that. And that will, um, that will make your uh, farm basically a farm. I appreciate the current trend towards uh, cozy games. Yeah, it does seem like there is a um, there is a vast market for uh, cozy games, and I think um, the gaming industry is definitely picking up on that. Hence, I mean, there has been so many cozy games coming out recently, and probably will continue to do it. And giving in AAA titles, AAA game studios, uh, taking a crack at it. Which we're going to see here very, very soon with Harvest Stella. That's, I mean, that's going to, I can't think of another AAA studio that has taken on like the farm life RPG genre before. Other than, uh, other than Square Enix going in with Harvest Stella. Harvest Stella. I don't, I don't know any other game that comes to mind. So it's going to be interesting to see how a big company does, uh, does with a genre like you know, like the. There we go. We got quite a bit of wood there. And there's a lot of choices. And even right now, September and October, you know, it's like you, you got to sit back and be like, what, you know, how do I decide to spend my money on this or on that or that or this or this or that, right? <clears throat> All I know is that it's going to be a good Christmas, right? I mean, as far as like, or even like Black Friday, depending on. You know, like the sales that go on for like Steam, Steam sales and things like that, right? Get the beeswax are done.
Mm, not yet. So once our crops are done, we're going to take it to the summertime. Yeah, summertime. Another one of those. We got to get more mandrake now. So tired. It seemed like uh, he was saying you need to till the ground, but I have noticed I haven't noticed a hoe. Oh, I, is that what you mean like that? Like use a hoe? Well, I don't know. I don't know how it what happens when you do eventually um, craft the um, the farm and then you have the farm. But what he means is like clear your area as in like um, uh, just like he, what he does. And he did it with this one right here is he'll put down like an area where he's going to um, build and then inside of that area. Like, there'll be trees or rocks, and he wants you to, like, take out the trees or rocks and things like that. There you go, Pancho. I love how the chicken has green eyes, too. Did we name the... No, we didn't get to name the cat. The fact that we didn't get to name the cat actually kind of hurts. Aw, who's a good kitty? Oh wait, did is the cat is the cat that wants the sturgeon? I got a chub and a cricket from the cat. Hang on a sec. No. The cat does not want the sturgeon. What does the cat want? What is that? It's like a fish that's like What is that? What is that fish? Maybe I did. What is that? It almost looks like a chub. Excuse me, can I give you a chub? Are you, like, interested in chub? I think it's a chub. Do you- do you like the chub? <laughs> you liked that, didn't you, kitty? Okay, okay. It's salmon and tuna? Okay, that's what it is. Salmon and tuna. That makes more sense. Got it. go grab me some thistle baby did our crops come through oh our cauliflower did but our wheat has not yet so once our wheat is done we will then move on to the next season but we can sell all this cauliflower if we want to or make food with it how long do we have with the wheat no all right Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, salmon and tuna. Have a good one, Phoenix. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. I don't think I've caught a salmon yet. One more day. Okay, so tomorrow the wheat will be done. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Tomorrow the wheat will be done. And then tomorrow we will go to the... We will go to the... Um, we'll go into the summer. Yeah, we'll go into the summer indeed. Absolutely. It's going to be good. Going to be good. Going to be good. Yeah, let's go ahead and deliver... You know what? Hang on a sec. Just to double check, I guess. As far as like cooking and with the cauliflower, Let's see where we can get to. Sushi? No, that wouldn't make sense. Um, fish do technically with the sardines. I'd rather do that. Yeah, let's do that. Easy fish. Those fish are very cheap and very worthless almost. Cauliflower soup. Potatoes, cauliflower, and milk. Uh, Moroccan carrot soup. That sounds spicy. Mold wine needs cinnamon, oranges, and wine. Fish fingers, which we will do eventually, which I'm saving the fish for. And what does he need for that? Coconut sugar. Oh, okay. More restorative, restor, restorative uh, teas. Make two of those. There we go. Okay, I think for the most part I can sell almost all, if not all, of the cauliflower. Yeah, we can sell all the cauliflower. 
Can I sell you anything, Natalia? You know, a girl's got to learn to rely on herself. That's what swing ever thought. Of <laughs> yeah, we've heard that one before too. Um. Uh, I mean, I could sell you some iron ingots. You know what? Let's sell her maybe like 50 stone. Just so possibly it will help level up her shop. Maybe. Or does her shop even level up? Never up. Her shop doesn't even level up. Never mind. We can buy a shovel finally. We wanted to go that route, I suppose. What do we need for that? 13? 65? 150 for that. There we go. We have the shovel now. Yep, we have the shovel. Now we can dig in the mine shaft and see what we can get from it, too. Sigma says, Oh my gosh, I fell asleep at the desk. Better go to bed. See, you have a good one. <laughs> have a good one, Sigma. <laughs> have you met Amira yet? She's the town. I have, I have. I absolutely have. Okay. Lena, uh-oh. Hi, Tara. So what do you think? Should the canned beans go on the top shelf or the middle? Are beans eyeline worthy? Reorganizing, Lena? Well, they should go on the yeah, bottom shelf. The store has looked almost exactly the same since my grandparents ran it, but it's hard. Nostalgia, you know? Follow your inspiration, maybe split the difference. No, I just figured your store out. No, 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 follow your inspiration. Listen. You can follow your own inspiration while still honoring what your family passed down to you. Huh, you're right. I should put my own spin on things. There you go. The reason I haven't wanted to change things is so my dad won't be disoriented if he comes back to Fairhaven. But he hasn't been able to leave the rest home in Milkwater for a long time. And he probably never will. Well, thanks for letting me think out loud, Tara. No problem. No problem indeed. Very good. Very good. Cool. Oh, wait, I need to go in there and sell her stuff. I got so distracted with that nice little uh, story there. Hey, honey. Honey Roselia. Just wanted to stop by and say hi, as I still need to watch day two. I just bought this game, and I'm excited to play, hopefully in my busy schedule. Very much so, honey. I'm glad that you uh, uh, stopped by and said hello. Thank you for saying hi, and it's good to see you. And I do hope you enjoy this game. And um, as much as most of us all are, because we, for the most part, all are enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and sell you some blueberries. I will sell you the bananas. I will sell you the coconut. Oh, nice. We got full five stars on the doll general store. So that means grape seeds are here. Spinach seeds, cheese, apple, fennel, grapes, lemon, potatoes, pomegranate, oranges, and limes. Sick. Okay, and then we will give you every single cauliflower we have. And might as well just give you all the eggs anyways. So now we're sitting at 500 doll hairs. 500 doll hairs. Very cool. Let's run in here and talk to Francis. Hello, Francis. Angus was being all snarky about Vanessa's baking skills after he saw her taking cupcakes to your place. Oh, God. She's doing her best. I'm sure most first ladies don't care as much about their citizens as she does. I guess it's one way to think of it. Do I have anything to give to you? I have a chocolate cupcake. Are you interested in chocolate cupcakes? Or amethyst for you as well? Let's see. Do you think he's like who? If anybody is like interested in cupcakes, who is it going to be? It would be him, you would think, right? Angus. But he's not. Bruno? Damon? Cameron? Francis? No? Maybe nobody's in, in like, into cupcakes. Or unless the children are. That, yeah, that she looks like she's into the cupcake. Emmy. Maybe Emmy likes uh, cupcakes then. We find Emmy. I'll give her a chocolate cupcake. She might like that. Yeah. Did you already give Kai a coconut? I did not. I should have, though, right? I should have. <laughs> I should have gave him one. I totally just sold it right there, didn't I? After dark, strange people have been seen there. At, I mean, so I'm told. 
it, I don't even know if Mayor Otto is a part of the coven. I'm really not sure. Let's go to the beach. See if there is possibly a um, a coconut of some sort, maybe. Who knows, right? Absolutely. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, take a look, take a look. Might be doing a little fishing, too. Gonna be a bad idea. Right? Yeah, yeah. So a couple crickets in there. We'll go for the bigger fish. See if we can get like a, you know, another sturgeon or flounder. Come on now. I mean, the sturgeon is like the money, money man, right? There's a part of me that wanted that lobster really bad, though. Okay, here we go. Salmon you would have to get in like a river, right? Not the ocean. That's a herring. Oh. It's a bit. Oh, that treasure. All right, we're going for the treasure. Nope. I haven't noticed if there is any like rivers to fish in. Oh, wait, I guess there is. There's like the ponds and the lakes, you know, at your farm and stuff like that. Okay. Never mind. There is freshwater holes to fish in. See, see what recipe this is. Is it? It is. The at home. I don't even know how to say that. The eras con gondolas. Looks like rice, olives, beans. Rice, olive, and beans. Possibly. That looks kind of good. All right, any coconuts out here? Oh, there is a coconut. So I wonder if I could, I could just give this to Kai, yeah? Is that right? Give the coconut to Kai? Let's see. Let's go to Kai. Like, hey, buddy. Would you like a coconut? Here we go. I think Eros con gondolas is rice with peas. Rice with peas. There's Kai. Right there. In the diner. Hey, buddy. It's a per Puerto Rico, Puerto Rican dish. Okay. Oh, can we not give him a coconut? Oh, we can't give him a coconut. How dare you? Might be able to give him like a coconut dish, right? Ah, oh, okay. I see now. Hey, Emmy. Would you like a chocolate cupcake? I'm sure you will, right? Will you tell my mom if I eat this all right now? Because I'm not supposed to. Oh my god. But... It will be our little secret, Emmy, and you will have a nice, delicious chocolate cupcake. Hooray! Very cool, very cool. Love that. Pigeon beans. Or pigeon peas. This does sound tasty, though. I like I, I I'm a big fan of like rice and beans based um uh foods dishes I guess you could say I mean your traditional Mexican rice and beans like I go I I, I am a big fan big big fan okay, we're at a mandrake now uh we're good go upstairs there we go grandma can I talk to you today find out you were a witch that's a great question Aunt vivian was in the coven of course she used to have all these boarders come and go from a house she owned in town turns out they were visiting witches come to see our wellspring for themselves although i think a few may have just been coming to see aunt viv now that i think of it very well okay and can I ever use it's this? Just a broom. No, it's not just a broom. You come on, you know Tara. You know very well what that is. Absolutely, right? <sighs> time for bed. All right, time for bed indeed. <sighs> and like, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that's where we're gonna go, and that's gonna be the end of us. We're gonna end the t today's stream here on uh, Wildflowers. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Wildflowers. Um, we are going to be going into summer in the next stream. Yeah, so we are preparing for summer. Next time we visit this, we will be going into a new season, new storylines, 
uh, new everything will be coming very, very, very soon. Cannot wait. New challenges, I guess, too, as well, right? Very excited to see where summer takes us. Thank you all for hanging out with me today and uh, spending your valuable time with me. You have so many creators to choose on this platform, and the fact that you choose to stay here with me means the world, and it is an honor. So thank you very much. I'll see you all in tomorrow's stream. We will be picking up some more streams tomorrow. Um, I will be posting those here very soon later today. And then once so, you can see what we're going to be streaming tomorrow. Other than that, thank you all for hanging out with me today. Uh, I will say a special thank you to, uh, let's see here. Hang on a sec. Let me pull it up. Uh, special thank you to um, uh, d -d 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 uh, Darren for the super chat. Thank you so much, Darren, for the super chat. Thank you, Lexi, for the super chat. Thank you, Timothy, uh, for the super chat. And also, we had a gifted membership, and you know who exactly you are, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much for the gifted membership as well. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all very, very soon. And do as always, take care.